if my computer will cooperate with me. No. But it's, you're you're doing it off of a, like a, a Mac or something? Freaking Dell. Oh, well, Chrome. <laughs> better better than this like three hundred dollar laptop I got. I mean, it's I did I did not buy it with this kind of shit in mind. <laughs> well, we're live now. What's up, everyone? How's it going? I see a lot of you in the chat. I'm Aaron the Toy Enhancer. I have some special guests with me tonight. Um, Crusty Old Crow oh, and cool. Down South 77, known as Three Star Draw. What's up, fellas? What's up, yo? How you doing tonight? Mm. It's a good day for this. <laughs> right, little Thursday action going on. Um, Down South 77 sent me a surprise package. And I was like, what the hell? Just got here yesterday. And I was like, I can't wait till Tuesday. So <laughs> I just, I had to hop on here. I told Let's him he could him wait, now. but he, he didn't want to wait. So uh, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. He's like, you can wait till you, because I told him I want to do it live. And he's like, right, you can wait till you're next. I was, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. You're say hey to the chat real know. quick. We got Shane Braylon here. What's up, man? War chest full of toys. What's up? Turkish Murphy's in here. Well, the usual suspects. Yeah. Yep. War chest yeah. calling me out on being late because I'm I'm always late, even though even though I set this thing up. <laughs> That was that was probably my fault tonight. I, I I was running a couple minutes behind trying to get everything done and set up. Oh, oh no! I I was I was running late for sure. I was just an old man mashing buttons, wondering if I did something wrong. But then I remembered it was your stream, so I knew we were going to be late. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, what time I'm doing is now, it, Krusty? Trying to get... What uh, time is it where you're at, Chris? Yeah, what... I'm in the same time zone as Aaron, eh? So it's uh, it's just after okay. nine o'clock p.m. here. Okay. I yeah, it's nine o'clock here. And you're an hour. You're you're eight o'clock, right? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. For some reason, uh, <clears throat> when I click on the, my comments, it takes it takes forever for it to show me that it's clicking on. So that's how bad my uh, that's how bad my internet is. <laughs> Where God's Old among school. men. What's up, man? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, um, how was your guys' Thursday going? I already asked that. Mine's mine's been so damn busy. I've I've been working, 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 and then bam, I came home, had enough time to hop in the shower, and um, just kind of cleaned my desk off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, mine mine was all right, man. Just a. Just another another day at work. Uh, just one more day closer to Friday. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Oh. Crow, you're you know off all the time, so you you just said. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it made. He just the time, gets to cre create and play with toys. I mean, what he got it made. <laughs> you have my, my the ultimate. No, I, I play with all the cheap dollar store thrift store stuff though, right? Because it's a it's a retired guy's budget, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Some of that stuff's really damn good though. Yeah. Or, well, <clears throat> some, some of the best stuff has actually just come since we've uh, we've all started talking. Weirdly enough, right? Uh, <laughs> you know, you meet so many people that just. Uh, they, they knew where to find stuff where we couldn't up here. So it's really cool to talk to the Americans more these days. I, I imagine that's different, um, you know, because I've been to Canada. It's been a long time. But, yeah, when I lived up in the New York area, we uh, we would skip over to the, uh, the uh, Niagara Falls over there. I've never been further north than Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd like to go, just haven't been. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's beautiful up there. Um, it's hard for me to work up in the, uh, where my family lives up there in New York. So that's why I don't live there. <laughs> everything you do, everything that you do up there is probably held by union a bit. Yeah, it's a uh, it's tough, man. It's tough. It's a uh, it just seems like down south there's a lot more a lot more jobs. War chest full of cho- toys right there says. I bid 22 jobs today, and it was a busy day for sure. That's a lot of bidding. <laughs> Man. Man, I didn't even look at 22 jobs for the rest of the month. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to hook up. But with that you ain't my job. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I got to I got to uh, launch my uh, my vamp video, but. It just went up, so I'm, I'm not sure if anybody even seen it. But <laughs> I was about three quarters of the way through it before we were about to start, Aaron. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. Wow. I didn't know it was up. I didn't know you were going to launch it till after this. I thought you were going to wait till I, after. I this launched and, it, man, uh, and um, it had like a little copyright on some um, some uh, uh, yeah, on a song, man. So I had to. Ch- I was like, nah, I want them, you know. I want rights to this. <laughs> yeah. Pull so I just I just titled it uh, Super Vamp. <laughs> that confused me, Instead man. I thought tramp. you were starting a stream on a different way. I was like, where? What? What? Because this was called <laughs> Super Vamp. <laughs> yeah, they're titled both. they both titled the same. Oops. <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> well, it'll make it easy both people to find both of them if they search it. That's a tricky right. way to get views, man. <laughs> super, super vamp. It's kind of like super tramp, but with the vamp. <laughs> Dated a couple super vamps. Oh, yeah. Haven't we all? How do you like your vamp, buddy? You've been playing with it? Uh, Yeah. You can probably see it over here. Got it on the shelf. Over oh, yeah. There. I, I had do. It out. I was doing it last night. Uh messing with it last night and putting different stuff on it um i hadn't had a chance to get it outside and do any any pictures with it yet i really wanted to i wanted to have done that sunday but i i didn't i wasn't able to so i'm hoping this weekend i can get it outside and get a little mud on the tires as brad paisley would say but i do have it uh, right. i don't know if you can see it i got cover girl with old, old painless sitting on that can of spam in front of it and, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got nice. the riding riding shotguns, the the ghost of Jacob Marley and uh, <laughs> Blue Hagnon hanging on the back. Should wave that up in front, man. That that sounds epic. Uh, let's see if I can get a little closer with. Got oh, it all dressed really up. <laughs> That's awesome. I'd I'd make you big, but I I don't know how to do it on the three way split. <laughs> forget forget which symbol it is. <laughs> it's important. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. It's kind of my confusing. luck. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> my luck. I hit the wrong thing and delete us all. Um, yeah, I need to do that. Wraith house. Look at highlight Wraith up there. So he paid a guy to make some music for him and had it copyrighted. That's a good idea. Oh, what's up, Wraith Mace? How's it going, buddy? You know, good to see you. Wraith, did you see the uh, Big Bad Toy Store had some of the, the Warhammer stuff on their sale today? Um, I meant to send that to you earlier, and I completely – I got busy and forgot all about it. Was that the Joy sure. Toy stuff? Yeah. Have you seen that stuff up close? No. Oh my just, god! Just on Wraith, right on just what Wraith has shown on his video, they look amazing. Yeah, yeah, these things are these are tabletop gamers' wet dreams, man. Uh, I don't blame them for showing at the big bucks for these. I seen some figs yeah. around uh, right before Christmas, some Warhammer figs in Ross, and they were like, you know, the gray color, like ready for you know doing the McCart- customs with. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. the proofs I bought, the ones that I bought. Yeah, the Joy Oh, you did are, get some, yeah. Yeah, I got a couple of those proofs. Um, 
you'd be surprised how hard they are to paint. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I know the joy toys are already pre-painted. They're like uh, classified for Warhammer, just a smaller scale. Yeah. Uh, I got a buddy that uh, he custom paints those. He's up in Washington State, and that's kind of his side thing and he's a phenomenal like that that's what he specializes in is custom painting like the the tabletop game pieces i I don't even see how people can see them to paint them and make them look so awesome they you close zoom in on them and they look like they're real life yeah i can't uh, see that i got sucked into that back in the early 2000s there's a big tabletop war gaming culture in the military so I got sucked into that. That was eating my money for 15 years. But that whole painting the miniature thing, there's a reason I went up to six inch. And that was uh, everything that happened to my eyes after 45, right? So, <laughs> Right. <laughs> I, I, uh, I never wore glasses until about two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I've worn them since I was 12. And it just... Oh, really? kind of goes down. <laughs> yeah, I wear I've got I wear contacts during the day most of the time. I think I've done a couple videos without my glasses on. I wear I wear contacts, but usually when I get home at the house, like I hardly ever put them on. You know, on the weekends, I wear the glasses around the house because after having them in all day, I just I, I don't want to go put them back in just to to come do this. So. Uh, I'm very fortunate that I'm one of the people that's able to wear contacts because I know some people that can't wear them at all. Yeah, I don't know, man, if I can do that, like press something to my eyeball every day or whatnot. <laughs> well, it took it took some it took some practice when I was when I I didn't I didn't actually start wearing them until I was like. It's like 18 or 19 before I ever even tried contacts because of the same thing. I was so scared to try to stick something in my eye and it, it took a while, but yeah, once you, once you do, man, if you can wear them, it's hard to go back to glasses all the time. Yeah. They're nice. Yeah. My um, mom, I, I can't mom. Yeah. she used to fall. Do you ever fall asleep with them in? I try not to. Uh, I've always been, real good about that um you know they they scare you into not doing that when you're learning how to how to use them um i yeah. mean i can't say that i haven't uh <laughs> overindulged a few times and fallen asleep <laughs> with them in but yeah on right. the whole i'm pretty i'm pretty good about yeah. taking them out it's hell when you wake up after that <laughs> I, I fell asleep the other night with my jeans on, and uh, Missy's like, "You slept in your jeans?" I was like, "I guess I did." <laughs> Y'all can't stand that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Hey, Crow, were you out? Uh, you were out toy hunting today, weren't you? I was, man. I told you I, I had a little story for you today. Eh? What a nightmare this was. Um, did I tell you about how I'm trying to collect ninjas right now off uh, Facebook garage sale and stuff? Oh, yeah. And I heard you talking in your videos. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> me and the driver, me and the buyer just couldn't click all day. And because I told him, like, listen, I really want to buy these from you. He was nice. He waited till I got back from Paris and everything like that. But today, I just zero communication. And I told him I had all these pre-orders in. And... Uh, at the end of it, I was just like, okay, we're going to wait till next week when you're more available because he was working. And uh, I went to go pick up with my pre-orders and they gave them all out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm going to get what? my pre-orders back next week. Yeah, they... Um, so GameStop, Oh, man, what a punch in the gut. Yeah, so <laughs> at GameStop out here in Ottawa, they were usually... But they are really good about fulfilling pre-orders, no problems. But something about this wave... Hasbro didn't send the entire orders to some of the stores. They divided them. So I just said, put me on that second wave, I guess, because I thought I was going to go pick up the ninjas. Then when the ninjas fell through for the day, I was like, well, I'll go grab my pre-orders. And nope, they were gone. <laughs> so yeah, this, oh, wave is, this wave here that's coming now, is it's jacked up on the it's, distribution. It's a monster, man. It's... um. I don't know what order you guys are getting them in, but I just found out, like, I've missed. Uh, where are we? Hasbro, Hasbro shipped, like, five of them to me. 
Oh, um, I haven't looked at what the. Well, I looked at a few of them. I just got. Uh, yeah, that wave's gonna hit hard, man. Hit hard. Yeah, yeah so, woke up to the sound of my bank account draining. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, right? um, I did pick up something used today off Facebook garage sale, though something that popped up and just uh, I had to take advantage of it because the price was right. But when I got there, that guy had picked up every damn pre-order that was available. And I was staring at walls of his tanks and desert troopers and like multiple 788s. This guy was a hardcore collector and he's never watched YouTube. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but Aaron, I wow. wanted to show you what I got before. Uh, it just yeah. Let's... It I, I, then, we, then we can focus just on the vamp and all its glory. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, man. Let's see. <clears throat> Hang on. Um, I'm going to play around with that. I'm going to see if I can make you big. I don't know if I can. I'll, I'll play around with it. Did. <laughs> but yeah, let's see, Crow. Okay. So I've been waiting for this thing to go on sale for a while because I thought Dreadnoughts needed bikes and stuff. But do you guys have you seen this in your area? I haven't seen it no. in person. I've seen it online. It looks great. It's perfect for Dreadnoughts. Man, where'd so you get that? Head. So that's a Batman drifter bike, and uh, they call oh, it yeah. the drifter. And uh, the reason I was waiting is because it was priced at like $43 uh, where I'm at for the longest time, which was like for perspective here, that's like uh, about, you know, 10% more or 20% more than a figure would cost. Right. So it's never worth it. But then they dropped mm -hmm. the price. But and the reason I wanted to show you is because mine came with a rider. And I wanted to show you who the rider was. Who this guy? Hang on, I'm gonna put it back. Clutch. Oh, that breaker. That's clutch. Yeah. So, just a little bit of backstory for the guys in the chat. Uh, Aaron, the toy enhancer, was going to send me a clutch. He was being really nice about it. He had another person who had asked first. That person didn't need it anymore, and I was next on Aaron's list for that. And. Uh, and uh, I was so appreciative, but Aaron's helped me out so much. And he's got so many other guys he, he's working with and helping out, right? Uh, as soon as I saw this guy go up, he was a song and a dance. I went out and got him. He was easy to get. And I was, uh, I was happy to do that. Oh, oh man. Nice. I just yeah, wanted to make sure you saw that. So That's didn't awesome. What a fine. Yeah. Clutch, clutches wow here another I, I don't know two two three weeks clutches will be they'll be pretty they'll probably be pretty easy to get i think but yeah snagging yeah, I that think one so. there yeah but snagging yeah. that one there you now being able to go ahead and grab it yeah yeah he yeah. said as soon as i drove out there he had four other people ask the only thing i didn't get with it man was that wrench that comes with cover girl i got an extra one of those and um I, I didn't get that steel core helmet, but um, when you show yours, eh, Aaron, do you did you already know who that was painted after? That that steel core helmet. Well, mm -mm, mm -mm. It looked no. it looked like Raphael to me. Yeah, <laughs> Raphael. Oh, oh, yeah, it did look like yeah. Raphael, right? And strangely, <laughs> I was I'm not getting it. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm and I'm completely down with that. Raphael was my favorite turtle. Uh, he's like probably the most like me except athletic and a ninja uh so <laughs> yeah, right? i was i was cool it, it, it looked like like raf clutch is dope yeah and so, that, the guy was really fair about it man like he he wasn't out to make anything off of it so i paid standard figure price for that so like i said aaron please move on to the next guy on the list thank you so much for oh that. man well hey i'm stoked about you finding that that's so amazing that's awesome They cut you a good deal, mm -hmm. I assume, right, bro? <laughs> oh yeah, man. He, uh, you, you know, us Canadians, right? Like we just stand at each other instantly. Oh, buddy, it's free, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he he got he charged me forty bucks Canadian for it, and I thought that was really fair. You know. Nice, nice, yeah. man. Yeah. That's awesome, buddy. Well, we got some good folks up here. I, I told you about uh, Hush and uh, his deal, so. But that was my day. It's the only story I wanted to tell you. I want to hear about your guys' day. Well, I got a, mm -hmm. uh, I had a pickup uh, today. 
had a, a good pickup today. Uh, randomly, though, um, one wasn't a toy. I, I was in, surprise, surprise, a tractor supply, and I was walking by, and I always look. I, I get stuff on clearance in there all the time, and I always, I'm always, i always looking at shoes. Like I'm not one of these dudes that collects shoes. Like I pretty much wear boots or Crocs, but I like to have a couple different pair of boots. They had a pair of Justin boots, the last pair in my size, and they're like the work boot with the composite toe. Two hundred dollar boots for forty one ninety nine. I have one pair left, and it was my size. <laughs> so, like, well, it's just fate. <laughs> but then I went to. Uh, I went to Walmart and I found Moss Man at a Walmart marked down to Moss eleven dollars. Moss Man, Moss Man. Oh, Moss Man. Man. Yeah. he was ele- he was down <laughs> down to eleven bucks at that Walmart. Oh, and that's a hell of a deal, man! Oh, it is. I mean, it, it's let's let like eighty something percent off. I didn't buy him because I've still got one. But uh, mm. what's up, Pain? Pain's toy samples just wandered in. Um, but I, of course, up, I was man? back looking through uh, through toys, and while I was looking around, I saw him. I'm like, "Well, this is a Walmart that's hit or miss on Joe's. They've had the same shit on pegs for forever." And I get down, and they've got the retro cards. They're down to fifteen bucks, which is what most of them are at our Walmart's that we're seeing. But the boxed figures, the windowless boxes, of course, all Walmart's got shipwreck and rock and roll. Had them down mm-hmm. to six dollars, six damn dollars. Uh, so man. I told y'all if I, in my short, if I found another rock and roll for seven damn dollars, I was gonna buy it. So I for sure bought one for six. Oh fuck yes! Well, man, part of that, what a deal! Oh, damn. It was the last, the last one. It was the last one that they uh that they had. They had one rock and roll left and one shipwreck. And I didn't think about it till I left, but I was like, for six dollars, I should have bought that shipwreck and sent it to pump. Oh, bro. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I almost uh, had to buy another rock and roll the other day because I got tired. I dropped this like seven months ago in my garage and it just turned up the other day. And if uh, <laughs> oh, I had found yeah. that, I would have been, been doubling down. I would have gone. Twelve dollars for your rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's about what I, I paid for hands. Stuff, man. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. It, uh, so I've got. So I picked them up just for the accessories. I mean, his accessories are are worth it alone. But he's a good. You know, if you're gonna do customs or something, he's he's good for that. But and the other thing that I I got today was something I've been waiting on that I bought on Mercari. Um, you know, artic- articulated ninja just crept in. What's going on, ninja? Yeah, what's so, up? Uh, what's snuck up, in, ninja? snuck in on us. But I, I bought this on <laughs> my damn on my the- internet. Hey, my inter- internet is so bad I can't even. He hasn't even popped up on my chat yet. <laughs> oh damn! He's that's like how laggy my shit is. <laughs> We're about to show the super vamp. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I was this uh. That I, I've got it on Mercari and I got a, a hell of a deal on it. I've been looking for it and I bought it last week. And I don't know what is going on with the post office, but half of the stuff that I get is in limbo and half of it gets there like quick. Like Crow, the, the figure that I sent to Gasland, it got there today, supposedly. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't even so, think it's back yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But so this thing, sorry, this thing that I bought. Uh, was coming from I think New Jersey and he shipped it before the vamp shipped last week and I finally got it today but it's something I've been trying to find a deal on and it's very hard I've been looking all over for it and I I snagged that oh, <laughs> oh the, yeah the, the headless the figure obscura. Oh, but yes. but it is the um it's the the first release. It's not the retailer. It's the one with the flaming, okay. the orange head. It's the. Oh. Uh, it, it's it's pretty damn hard to get, and I bought it. See, pain. I bought it. Um, loose complete from a guy that bought it just to display it and take pictures of it on Halloween, and then he boxed it back up. 
Oh, and, and, okay. And for I, I'll pick I got up on them deals. A, I got it for a song for what this thing goes for on the secondary market. I yeah. mean, I the dude and the dude knows what it's worth. He's just trying to get rid of it and get some money back. And I got the uh, I bought the Sun Wukong from him also the week before, and it was like a third of what it sells for. So check Mercari, people, because them deals are on there, and people take offers. Hey, uh, <clears throat> that, wow, that is right. amazing. And, like, to, to think that the guy kept the box and wasn't a collector is just, like, one of those things that I appreciate now that I've started buying used. Yeah. Is, um, my Scarlet came without the box, and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, I don't buy much. I don't buy much like loose uh, stuff unless it's from somebody I know, like buying it on Mercari and eBay and stuff. I don't, I don't like getting loose stuff, but I looked at this yeah. guy's feedback and some of his other auctions and it's like, well, I'm going to take a chance with the, the son Wukong he had because the price was so good. Like I've never, I've never seen one missing all of the stuff this cheap. So I got it in. And then he put that one up right after. And I was like, yeah, well, I know this dude's good, so I'm going to snag it. I can't believe I got it. But I've been real – I ain't even taken it out yet. Uh, he put everything back in the <laughs> packaging. I hadn't even got it out yet. I just got it at, you know, like five this afternoon. You're going to do a review on it, yeah? <laughs> I'm probably – well, I'm I'm probably going to do one lump sum review since I've got some of these other obscures in. I did that one yeah. on the Red Death that had the horrible audio, but it's because that I'm so passionate about that character and the origins. So these guys, I'll probably just lump into one review, and if I do, I mean it'll probably be an hour, but you'll see four figures. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice. straight off, right? Nice. Well, like I said earlier, um, down south 77, Mr. Darren has sent me a package. And I have no freaking clue what's in it. He didn't even give me a chance to send him a package from the last time he sent me a package. <laughs> you sent me one before. I was. I was <laughs> no, it was my turn. <laughs> I feel like that yeah, post office is really familiar with Aaron by now. I've been there so many times this week, Crow, because I posted some figures for sale in the classified group, mm -hmm. and uh, I've sold a couple of them, and uh, Woody got one from me. I've been in the post office like three out of four days this week. Yeah. Uh, Aaron's there like every week now, P either picking – 12 things up or dropping off 47, right? So <laughs> it says yeah. fragile on it. Fragile. I had to handwrite that. I'm gripped. It's, yeah, oh it's handwritten God. too, man. Yeah, I asked if they had, if they could put a fragile sticker on it, and they looked at me like I asked for it in another language. <laughs> 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 They're like, we, we give you a marker. We'll give you a marker. Yeah. Do you see how big this box is? Yeah, what, what, he, two, like, triple two. what the hell down south? What he triple two is eyeball measuring everything. He was talking about the bike being out of scale. Now he knows the exact side of the box. I, what he triple two, I think, is uh, on the gifted spectrum, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> super smart guy. <laughs> you guys will probably be disappointed. Dude, I have no clue what's in here. I hope you open that really carefully. Uh-oh. I saw that. Oh, man. I, I knew it. Know. I knew it was going to have them in there. It's my trademark. It's my hallmark. Man. <laughs> what did you do? Remove some packaging. It's got a note. <laughs> oh man. It says Toy Enhancer. The first one was pretty popular and was fantastic, but
but the Joes have too much firepower now. Do as you will. Down south, 77. <laughs> you guys know what it is, man. No way. <laughs> oh, you sent me in a, another Chevy, baby. <laughs> this is so up. Down south, 77. You know how many um tractor supplies I stop in every day and I can't even find it? <laughs> Well, they they only carried them they at Christmas time. They get in oh, a ton man. of toys that they they don't carry year round, and the stuff that doesn't sell after Christmas, they mark it all down to get it out of the store because they turn their freight over so fast. That's why nobody can find them anymore. They probably won't have them again until next Christmas. Man, I can't tell you how many old ladies I. I sent to the back rooms looking for these things. I was like, ma'am, it might be, you know, just sitting in the back. You know, can you please go take a look? All right, I'll go take a look. Man, I feel bad, but oh my lord. I've been dying to get another one, man. Thank you That's so awesome. much, bro. Yeah. I figured, you know, you could do you could do a, a cobra one or a dreadnought or oh you know, man, whatever. I totally want to do a cobra one, but better better yet, you know what I want to do one in? Um, a firefly one, man. Straight oh, up yeah. firefly. Yeah. I was gonna with say, the man, urban you know camouflage and all that, man. Bro. You want to use up all your ram cycle Gatling guns on a second one? I did, like, <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do different guns. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have that. He's gonna have like that drop RC that that just drops out of the bottom and shoots out, out from under the truck. Like, what the hell is that movie called, man? Where they were dropping those RC things. Damn, what's that 80s movie called? <laughs> you well, should know. In, uh, yeah, well, well, I was going to say he did it in Scarface, but that was a car bomb. I know. Uh, no, they, they had did those little Bad electric. Boys, uh, Bad Boys 2. They did it in Bad they Boys They had those little two. spiders and shit that were mechanical. It was definitely 80s Oh, movie. the one with it. Gene Simmons from Kiss. I think I think so, man. Yeah, that might be the one, but it it has those those little electronic spiders, and there was a bad dude, and yeah. damn, it's, um, that heavy metal toy box is saying Blade Runner, but it's not Blade Runner. It was after that, but it was like that kind of a movie. Yeah, was I, it Blade? I can see it. Was it Blade Runner? No. I it think was like it was. a sci-fi thriller, and Gene Simmons was the bad guy, but the spider, I remember the spider you were talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. I, can't, I can see it in my head, but I can't place it. I know, yeah. yeah, it's one of those damn, I'm searching for that brain cell, but I must have damn burnt it out when I was in my teenage years. Or I think, I think Shane got it. I think Shane got it. Hour wanted, ago. wanted dead or alive. Yeah, okay. Could be, yeah. But, uh, wow. So thank you, man. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, man. You're welcome. I figured you might want to just do that and do whatever with it. Going, you the, you're the man, but I, you gotta wait for me to send you something now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you turn them over so quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woody, that uh, that Tango and that truck and Tango and Cash, that was a modified uh, Tahoe because that was when they changed that body style and narrowed the suburban down into a tahoe and that's what that was based off of it was in uh 90 i think was when that come out and i think 90 or 91 was the first year for the the two-door tahoes i believe that replaced the k5s i love that thing so much in tango and cash and they destroyed it (laughs) heavy metal toy box it It was the movie runaway that was it (laughs) runaway is is that yeah. what it's called? That sounds like That's it. That's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. yeah. Run, away. Run away, bro. Let me write that shit down. Hang on. Or else I'll forget. But yeah, I think that is it, man. Yeah. That's a top. Right. Look at that, man. There's so many movies like I seen when I was a kid and I never knew the damn name of them. And I, I try to go back and figure out what the hell they're called and stuff sometimes. You ever do that? You ever happen to you? Oh, yeah. It is yeah. amazing how tolerant we were for movie plots when we were kids. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> I remember seeing this one movie when I was a kid, and the dude had this um, real kick-ass dirt bike, and he had this elect- electronic helmet. When he put it on, like he could see like fucking computers. And back then, it was the '80s, so it was just amazing and shit. But like this, this bike, this helmet was tied to tied into this bike, and like I've 
I remember briefly seeing it when I was a kid, maybe on HBO or something. And I cannot, I, I'll never know the name of that damn movie, but it was probably some B rate movie too. But man, was it awesome because it, uh, it was all linked together. <clears throat> yeah. Were you guys, um, okay, yeah, you watched like Fox, it's your network, Fox Network. But I remember when they got David Hassel off to play Nick Fury on one of their like movies of the week. Yeah, it was the well. He, there was a series. There was a, 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 a maybe it was a Nick Fury series or Shield or something. I never watched it. I, I just know it existed. So I'm sure somebody will know. Yeah. David yeah. Hassel, and then you think of him, and then think of Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like Sam Jackson better, but I mean respect to the Hoff where it was due when Aaron was talking about that helmet. That's all I could think of. It's like kit as yeah. a bike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you need that, you need that helmet, right? Crow to the, uh, I need nothing, man. <laughs> I need for nothing, that clutch. Yeah. I mean, if, if one yeah, falls you under your couch and you find it, I'll take it. But I think you've got a good <laughs> lineup waiting for better offers. I'm good. I got it in here it somewhere. Probably over on my review table. I'm still gonna buy man, it. Man, this is this is the uh this is the uh super vamp man. Yeah, let's see it. If you guys haven't seen it, you see my uh you see my uh what's it called? Environment control sensor. <laughs> Does mm -hmm. it look a little different? Yeah, it looks a little more like a chain gun doesn't it you know where that's from where'd that part come from guys it looks like a roller from a three and three quarter vehicle it looks nice huh? it kind of looks like what the hell was originally there right yeah hang on, good. Hang on let me show you this is this is this is what was originally there yeah right yeah. It's like a little roller, right? A little roller gap. Nine or whatever people been telling me. You know where I got that part from? This guy. I already uh, guess. The mech. Huh. And look, Max. there, there's one right on his arm right there. You see it? These mechs keep giving. Yeah. You got all kind of use out of those six dollar. <laughs> you got all kind of use see? out of those six dollar mechs. I know, right? <laughs> I think they're 15. Huh? <laughs> oh, but hey, yeah, they weren't cheap, but they were at, they're at Dollar General. <laughs> what was well, the, what's mean, the 15, one that was six? Was that the but the Buzz Lightyear? Is that the one that was down to six? Yeah, somewhere? the Buzz Lightyear, but it's okay. at Ross. The the jet. Okay. I, I had that in my hand the other day, but you can see where I shaved. This is where I shaved it off. I just I heated it and then cut it with a razor knife, and I stuck it on my van. Nice. It yeah, comes man. off too, like when I get up you there. Make, I so you can introduce me to this Ross and Ollie fella. <laughs> oh yeah, we we well, that would be the first place we go when you get here, Crow. I think so. We're gonna go check them out. <laughs> now you can make a battle damage mech. Yeah. 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 Right. I'll put something else on his arm or some shit. I got tons of those mechs though, and uh, here's the thing, man. I found like every dollar store that I cleaned out the max, they had three or four, sometimes five. <laughs> um, they never restocked, man. So I don't know if they restocked that toy or if it's a one and go. That's it. I don't know, man. I looked for yeah, them. I went in one the other day and looked for them. I didn't see any. Yeah. I've never seen a single one anywhere up here. But uh, that's got to be an American company. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. actually headquartered in Tennessee. Their national headquarters is about 35 miles from where I'm sitting. Yeah, my prime minister doesn't really like having that uh, <laughs> that free exchange to your products for some reason. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling it now. No. I'm feeling it. <clears throat> so, so down right. south, did you have trouble with your ammo boxes, or, or did you figure out a good solution? Uh, no, I, I have not I just figured out mine. a good uh, I, I wedge them every way I, I put just, them in there. Uh, they they pop loose. Actually, I have them running uh, the gun that I'm looking at on the left, which is the right gun if you're looking at it 
from the rear. Uh, I actually ran yeah. that one up and under, so it's feeding in the right way. And it kind of makes oh, okay. the gun set up slightly higher, but I will take that where they, they're feeding in properly than both yeah. of them going in each side. Uh, no, I don't. I, I, I still not reviewed the vamp. No, we did our video opening it, but I haven't reviewed oh, it yet. Oh, okay. And I'm j- yeah, so I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm gonna do it quick. I'm not gonna do a big lengthy review on it. I'm just gonna kind of give basically like Punk would give final thoughts on something. I'm gonna it's gonna be pretty quick, but oh, yeah. that's that's my that's really my only gripe with it are those guns and well, the man. tires being so wobbly. But you can fix that. I mean, you can fix that with a, a shim or a grommet oh, yeah. or something. Uh, but well, I here's the thing: I, I'm not um, happy with the guns. Yeah, I, I wasn't happy with the height of them, but um, th- what you're looking at right now is just they're not. There's no sticky tack. There's no nothing. There's no tricks. All I did was wedge it under the little piece of plastic that is on the very back back wall of that plate that they sit on, and you can see like I've been wiggling around and everything. Mine are sitting in there really good, and I just I just tucked them in there, man. It was just. There's a very, very fine little lip on the back wall of that. And I tucked them in there and they're sitting up like that, which I can I can live with that. If I if they're gonna stay tight while I'm driving this damn thing yeah. around and you know. Yeah, and if I go pretty, out pretty if good. I take and that's it out. that's no money. Oh, there we go. I I was gonna say the um <laughs> if I take it out and do anything like remotely close to what Baldy did, which I'm not going to, but just freewheeling it and pushing it along and trying to video it or something, I'm going to take them damn ammo cans out. Uh, they'll be, they'll be lost in the, in the tall grass somewhere. Uh, I don't, (laughs) they fit, they fit like that. I saw somebody, somebody else that had popped it in there like that and showed them. And, yeah. They I guess they fit. I haven't tried it, but they just don't look right. The aesthetic of it just don't look right to me. <laughs> Cuz they when I was redoing around. The, Yeah. And I was going to make like a little crate that they sat in for that because because of that problem. I was trying to in my video, I was trying to address all the issues that people were talking about or bringing up in the video. And that was one of them, but after I, I was able to wedge them in there like that, I was like, well, I can live with that. And they're, all I wanted them to do was hold still anyways. Yeah, so stay in, that, was, stay a, in that was a cheap solution. Yeah. So I miss seeing the, and honestly, the man, like. Crow, what was you saying? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I get it lag. I was saying. Sorry, I, Crow, I you broke you. up there for a minute. Yeah, um, I was saying I miss seeing the crates that you're talking about. Like I had to run upstairs for a second, but uh, I'm just getting caught up on that because it'd be good to know about. That's that's the crates we're talking about. These ammo crates, mm-hmm. and um, there's no sticky tack or nothing. There's a there's a little there's a little piece of plastic right under here that I have them wedged in the back, and they're just sitting on mm-hmm. that plate. But it holds them it holds them still. You see how I'm able to shake it around and. And they're gonna stay there until it until it's bumped really hard, you know. That holds them but really well if you got it sideways and that's staying in place. That's the best solution I came up with without having a sticky tech or modify anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I still want a vamp despite that huge glaring flaw. <laughs> It's 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 nice. Uh, if you if you can if you can get one, don't overpay for it. I, I know you're, you know, if you you get one, you may have a little bit of a markup trying to get it in, but the overall price of it, don't overpay for it. They're they're going to be around. I, no, I, I don't. There's, yeah, there's no I, I think. Uh, I think though. I was, I was telling Aaron back, was back for sale. 13, eh? It was about getting that the original 13 figures like i was saying yeah. there not so much the vehicle so i was i'm yeah. good i can wait till they're back in hasbro and order one well i've i've got to say that i you know my biggest uh fear with the whole thing was was clutch 
and he was going to be all janky like Breaker is, and Clutch is, Clutch is a really good figure. All the tolerances, dude. Are he tight. looks awesome. He looks good. Yeah, I, I'm I'm happy with with Clutch. I'm happier with Clutch as a figure than I am with the vehicle or the set as a whole. There you go. But that's now, how I felt too when I when I had him in hand. Now I just need Steeler. If they could just make a Steeler, I'd be so happy. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard for him to do Steeler, though. Um, I mean, they'd have to do him as some kind of standalone because the Mobad is so it's so outdated. Unless they give us something updated or maybe a smaller tank-like vehicle, like some version of the Armadillo, but, but Steeler is the driver. Because the Mobad is so – I mean, it's, it's a 1970s tank. Yeah, but I yeah, want I want yeah. Steeler too. Yeah, and like I mean, like I I was getting out when the Mauler came out. We couldn't get the Mauler up where I was at all, and that was a better looking tank in the end too, right? Like that that second phase at it. But yeah, yeah. Steeler still needs to happen. We need them somehow. Yeah, uh, yeah. my cousin had the Mauler. I didn't. I never had the Mauler. I had the Mobat, but I never had the Mauler. It's so like one of the things I was saying sometimes. He would get stuff, and I wouldn't get it, or vice versa, because we played Joe's all the time. So, you know, we sometimes we would skip stuff because the other one had it, and the Mauler was one of those things. I never had it as a kid. Yeah, no, we never even yeah. saw it. Me neither. I never had it. No, there you go. I don't know who got it then. <laughs> I bet Woody had it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he yeah, did, he's I got two Woody of them now. It, bro. Didn't Woody grow he's up? Got, yeah. Pocket? He's got 10 now if he didn't he have had the thing. autograph. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What I'd like to see is I'm I'm dreaming of the day that <laughs> trying to, that big trying to get my comments. When they do the APC and then Aaron lights that thing up and elevates that with a lifted suspension, that's the day. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. I, I, I What's know, that? that I had on, on what? the APC. Well, I was saying, oh, yeah. I want you to put the APT <laughs> and then do a lifted lit kit on that thing. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, I, I like the way it, uh, it lifted this up, man. Um, it's not the greatest RC suspension, but yeah, this thing's definitely got some, some oomph to it. When I took the when I took this thing apart, um, I got to the shock system. I don't know if you guys ever seen it. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Mm. So I can imagine, you know, the tires locked into there. So it's it's, you know, that's something that I've never seen before, honestly. I always see spring suspension, like real suspension, like what's on it now. Yeah, yeah that was that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Might be why the tires are a little. Yeah. And if any anybody breaks the suspension, I have four of, and all four are the same. <laughs> all four are the same. They come out. If anybody ever breaks like one, let me know. I got four extra. <laughs> like the tires. Central. I got Put four tires too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Woody says that he does still have his mauler, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah, my, chat is, uh, my chat is my chat is dope. Yeah. yeah. I think you got a little few, few seconds of lag. Yeah, I'm I got some that. lag, and, and my chat is backed up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It must be uh, my internet. Well, it's I hard trying to keep up with the chat. We got 20 people that. in the chat and doing all right right now. Just saying. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Everything just clicked in now. <laughs> oh. Neil, Neil uh, Lacurto, am I saying that right? See if I can get them to pop up there. 
<clears throat> low, low cart though. Only fifth, third video. Yeah, man. In no, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put a chin gun on it? Is that what I'm saying? I know. <laughs> the ram just gun. Ass back. Oh, you see that? It just it just fits in there good. It like I don't know why, but it it just does, man. I don't know why. I was just gonna scream out, "You got to get a Vin Diesel figure for this thing now." It's a Fast and the Furious vehicle now. I, Things popping out. I had to, man. I. <laughs> I didn't put it in the video for it, and I felt bad. I was like, damn, I painted this thing and everything because it was red. But I was like, damn it, I forgot to put it in there. But it just sits in there. It sits in that channel real good. I don't know why. On a freaking wench. Yeah, just, the wench it is... Speak, it speaks to how many ram cycles you're sitting on right now when, like, <laughs> every day there's a, there's a Gatling gun falling out of your hair. It's, yeah, it's this somewhere. Gatling gun's it's for everybody, room. you know? Toy Enhancer doing more repaints on the Ram than Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, it's there's got a Aaron's chirp, chirp on it. Hang on. No. Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. I don't think the Night Force Ram even stood a chance, man. He motorized the winch. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Bro, you guys seen this before, yeah, though, man. right? You've seen this before. Yeah. I had to get another yeah. one. <laughs> I was say, you didn't jack that off the diorama, did you? And not send it no. with the diorama. <laughs> I think Bobby. No, it is not. Here, right? Did you get that thing sent? This? The diorama. Did you ever get it sent? I know you said you were. Oh, no, man. man. Um, yeah, I know Bobby's on here, man. Um, uh, That thing is, uh, man, it's going to. I hate, I hate to say it. I've been kind of stalling out. It's going to Toy Lanham, man. <laughs> it's going to Toy Lanham. And, uh, you put it in uh, the contest, let, like I said you should. We're going to let a million people look at it really quick. <laughs> no one's going to oh. touch it. <laughs> well, all right. We're going to let a million people look at it real quick, and then I'm going to ship it right off. And I, I had to custom make boxes. The boxes that hold, like, all the this platform and everything. Dude, I had to make them, bitches. <laughs> So I'm over here so uh, you gluing enter? like. <clears throat> I was that? just going to ask you if you in, I was going to ask you if you entered it in the Dio contest. I know they got to have one. Um, you know what? I didn't know about that. I just know that I have access to a table up there. Um, but uh, I didn't Everybody, know. Man, be careful. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. know that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the fact they do. I've never been. I just most of those bigger shows, like a lot of them that are just specifically toy shows like that, have dio contests. So, oh, like, okay. I mean, maybe they don't. Maybe Man, they don't. I'm ready to but... check into that. I didn't. I didn't even think about those. that. You should be buying a flatbed trailer and just turning that into a diorama so you can cart that around everywhere, man. The way you're working, holy cow! You can make so the whole much. swamp. Yeah, I and yeah. I got a I need like a covered trailer eventually. <laughs> Cuz if I build the mothership, I'm going to want to like take it everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot you're doing the mothership. Oh. You on the blueprint slide, huh? Well, the screen just did something. We lost Aaron. Did we lose him? No, nope, no, nope, there is. Okay, I lost him on one screen, but I have him on the other. This is weird. Mm, I don't see. I don't see him at all. All right. Well, it's just you and me. Let's talk about. It. <laughs> well, I told him he should enter the thing in a diorama contest somewhere. So hopefully they've got one, and he'll be able to uh, to do it. I, mean, I don't know. I've never been to Toy Atlanta, so I don't know. But I would think they would because it's like it's everything like it's all toys from all years so i would think they would there's probably a lot of people there that uh a lot of people there that mix you know like lines and you know break break the the boundaries of you know they have spider-man with gi joe and shit like that so i think that thing would kill in a contest yeah, it's pretty it's pretty versatile just as a stage of itself right like yeah it's a dreadnought player but 
it's a it's a shoreline diorama you can do a lot with that yeah yeah and i mean it could be expanded you know to uh include more of the swamp or you know outbuildings for the 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 shack oh i think you could do a lot of stuff with it yeah and i mean that that sounds like him and bobby talked about it and this is all good to go so i mean that's spectacular let's uh i was taking a big idea and making it huge right so yeah Yeah. hey he's back (laughs) damn georgia internet powdered his nose i don't know what the hell happened (laughs) i got kicked out of my own show (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we held it down for you for a minute yeah, it seems less glitchy now, now. <laughs> thanks guys <That's> right. <laughs> we got you back I appreciate it I don't know what the hell happened I was like damn did I pay my bill I was like I don't know what the hell <laughs> can I say hi to a couple of guys really quick oh yeah go ahead Crow gotta, gotta say hi to the jumper Roman Graham he, he's disappointed in me today for not getting airborne and I know that but uh, I just wanted to send a quick shout out to Loki Wartooth that, uh, I don't think he was able to tune in tonight but he's probably going to re-watch this and just yeah. a quick shout out to him and to um, uh, Hush TV because they're both going through some medical stuff right now and uh, we're, we're wishing you guys well that's all I want to say here Nice, nice. Yeah, Loki always he'll he'll rewatch. He always does, cause he'll he'll send me messages throughout the day and and be like, oh man, such and such or whatever, you know. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, you must be watching the video right now. He keeps yeah, knocking me up over time zones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It comes to mind when you're watching it back, and then you get a a message or a comment on it, and you're like, what? And you're like, oh yeah, they must have just watched that part. I forgot I filmed that part. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I start writing shit down when it's when it's going down. So if I gotta remember something, because I'll forget where the hell I'm supposed to find it at in my own life. <laughs> yeah, I make I make notes for videos and tape a, a lot of times. I'll tape a list underneath my camera up here, and that way at least it looks like I'm looking at the camera, but you can see my eyes moving. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, you got to be smart with your organization. I, I get the notes going. I set them down. Then I press play and the notes are gone. And I'm like, well, <laughs> shit, we're going. Right. <laughs> too, too late now. Yeah. Send it. One takes. All one takes. But <laughs> yeah, you want to know what the nice thing about having two devices going at the same time is I can hit like on my own video and it doesn't feel like I'm doing it to myself. So I'm going to hit like <laughs> right now. Pound that way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pound that there like button, everyone. <laughs> I'll have to go back and re-like it later. I don't have YouTube open. <laughs> <laughs> I got to oh, do well, it to uh, YouTube. Bro. Yeah, you can't do it from here. So I'll have to. Uh, oh, I'll pull it up. Oh, I'll, I'll pull it up and hit it on the on the three-star draw and go ahead and do that. So uh, we're um, sending out sending out a... a shout out so uh our one of our little group here that that that's commenting on watches all three of us uh dreadnought uh we need to need to keep dreadnought in our thoughts he's going through some stuff uh at home so he's got a big day tomorrow so we need to keep dreadnought in our thoughts tomorrow absolutely just remind everybody that i'll keep them in good good thoughts yeah for sure I can understand that. Sometimes life catches up with us. We can all relate yeah. to those. Right? Yeah, it sure does. So who's got uh who's got the new the new wave? Everybody got the new wave uh pre ordered or en route or hell maybe somebody's already got it by now. So uh I know Toy and Answer, we talked about doing maybe doing something, but who knows when we're going to get the things. Yeah. So. I think um, that sh- um, stuff that I heard with the mail and everything, too, um, it like mail is actually delayed somehow, man. It's behind or something's going on. Have you heard about that? Yeah, I think that's why my vamps. Crazy. Yeah, I think that's why my vamps were late. Like I said, I knew I was a late, a day late on the payment, man, but holy crap. It, it's it put me like three extra days behind everyone else seemed like so well that um you know i still don't have my 
action soldier. I don't even know where it is because they mm. sent it through DHL before giving it to the post yeah. office. This dude. So, yeah, I, I still, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't even know too. where he is, man. Uh, and they, they, they sent him kind of like this Mercari order that I had. They, they sent him before, before the vamp. They sent so him this is, days before. Yeah. Man, man, oh man. I'll tell you what, I don't know what, what happened with the computer, but my, my messages are working a lot better right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this seems to be across the board with the whole wave release. It's almost like Hasbro opened the floodgates, but didn't actually have the stock to send for a lot of it on uh, for... Like I'm hearing constant half orders being filled and half orders in waning, right? And uh, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. Then don't don't tell us you're opening the floodgates, but then reduce your stock. That's crazy. Yeah. They hit me and with one, two, three, four. I got five action figures coming from them, man, right now. Yeah, I got uh, uh That sounds about what I'm expecting. The retro and the classified, right? Airborne. Uh, techno is coming. Did you guys jump in? Page punchers? Mm -hmm. No. Quick uh, kids. Anybody pick... order the page punchers from that series? No, I'll pick them up when they're a third price. Big Boa is on the way. Uh, I passed on Boa. <laughs> and uh, Metalhead, I'll... Metalhead's coming. I was gonna pass on Big Boa till they showed him. I wasn't yeah. gonna get him till I saw the figure, and I'm like, yeah, well. Damn it, man! Same uh, here. And have they shipped yours yet, or have you just got payment notices? Because you sell them. Oh, they haven't shipped. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just payment notice. Yeah, mm. yeah. I got um, uh, I've got techno, all the same ones you got, except quick, quick kick. I got him from Entertainment Earth, but he is processing there. And I think Punk posted that somebody else said all of Entertainment Earth are processing. I didn't ever order it, ordered him from Entertainment Earth, but back during Christmas when I ordered the Super 7 figures for me and uh, Bot Blender, I needed one more thing to get free shipping. And I wasn't I wasn't even gonna order quick kick either, but I'm like, well, I don't have him ordered anywhere. I'll just order quick kick so I can get free shipping on him. So I got yeah. him. Uh but I canceled. I told you so there's a I canceled uh I've been having this DHL problem with the, the action soldier and I called Hasbro yesterday morning to have him change the shipping for him and they said they cannot change the shipping once you have placed the order so the dude canceled the order while i was on the phone with him and had me reorder them while i was on the phone with him to make sure i picked the fedex shipping because oh wow anything dhl adds four days minimum to anything that, get from that nowhere. scares me when i cancel an order though especially i mean i know they're telling you to do it but man it's like oh i might lose my shit you know well i was surprised when i woke up this morning and i saw that i the, all the charges had you know had went ahead and processed for the ones i just ordered yesterday even though i ordered them back when i usually order on pulse and on amazon and yeah. I cancel whichever one ships later and Amazon, the last few times, have shipped first, but Amazon is still showing April and May on yeah, all me of too. these guys. Yeah, that's why I don't yep. bother with Amazon, but yeah, you're right. They ship earlier than that. But the that last ones, they shipped a month earlier than Hasbro did. It's like uh, I order. I always order off Amazon just in case they, they do ship early for some reason. I've had that yeah. happen, and then yeah. I'll cancel it, like, I'll cancel the Amazon if Hasbro beats them or whatever, you know, whatever um, person I go with. I, it seems like I buy toys from someone different every time now. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it's crazy. And and that's a that's kind of like a tough game to play if you want to be, like, first to review or whatever. And that, that's like – it's almost like a rat race at that and point. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's where I felt the sting today, right? Because I missed out on three releases that I could have picked up if things had gone – 
differently, but the, you know, they slip through my fingers. So you lose a bit of relevance as a, as a tuber, the longer you're yeah. waiting on these releases, right? Like you said, there's what, what's the point of talking about the vamp as a review and not as something else now, because reviews have been done. Right. Right. Yeah. right. I, well, I, it's I, all, I, I'm approaching it like the way that I approach most of the stuff like if anybody's watching me do it, it's because they like listening to me and my style. And that's that's it. how you should do it. Honestly, yeah. man, you should do it for your channel. And that's yeah. why you see me review old figures. I know they've been reviewed a million oh, times. Yeah. They haven't been reviewed on my channel. You what know what I mean? We have when they go months without a release. What choice do you have? You go through the back catalog and you do it. I'm all for that because it doesn't matter. It's all Joe. But yeah. you know, like um, yeah. As far as how some people look at this, it's like if you can't predict this, then some people are going to struggle to think about other content and things like that and not be able to predict when they're getting their releases. I can see yeah. that being an issue for somebody. Well, my uh, like my ser my limelight series that I do, like it's not super popular, but it's a way like these are all figures that I had and I opened before I started my channel. So it's a way to do get content and do a kind of retroactive review on older figures. And that's why yeah. I put up like, you know, their comic appearances and talk a lot about the character itself rather than just the figure. Cause it, it's a way to get some content and to do a, a, a post review on people on a, you know, a figure people have had probably some of them even before I was into classified and like I said, it's not super popular, but it's just a way to, to do it and get some content that's still related to Joe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, like, it's, um, and, and Aaron, you've got a massive collection of other things. That, like that bear, yeah. that bear thing that you do your video on, how many hits has <laughs> that video gotten now? Yeah, um, well, some of the army, um, the cover army videos do good. Uh, the ones that, especially in the beginning, you know, they hit like three k, three point something k, but um, they're uh, they seem to be evergreen because they they seem it seems like they get views daily, some way somehow. That cobra army stuff. So um, that's the good part about doing the storylines or just going out there, you know, and and doing something different. Is uh, if if you I think if if you're gonna be a toy tuber and you just mainly focus on reviews, that it will get stagnant or or you know just um, you won't you won't see the the ladder go up you know at more so. But that's and that's what everyone told me when I started YouTube. They were like, man, you're gonna find your niche, your niche. And I, I always thought like, man, what well, you know what the hell's my niche? I'm, I'm reviewing toys, you know, whatever. I, I build dioramas and, and stuff. But honestly, that like the, I, when I started doing the, the the diorama building and the Cobra armies and all that, I noticed you know I was like, well, hell, those get way more views than any of the freaking reviews I do, and I got a couple reviews out that were like first, you know, I got them first, and I, I went on eBay and bought the character overseas, blah blah blah, did all that. But it seems like such a rat race, and I'm spent. I was like, man, I could just take all my figures out in the woods. Make a damn, I don't have to buy a damn toy at all, you know. Yeah. I can make and I'm having fun doing it, you know. I, I, it was a no brainer. I was like, that's my niche, man. That's my niche. And, um, anyone, I mean, and, and everyone does it. I mean, to a certain extent, I've seen you down south, you, you set your stuff outside. Uh, Crow, yeah. Crow, one of your, uh, I think like the second video I've ever watched, you were outside with your son setting them up and stuff and down there by, uh, you know, in the field or the creek, something you were, I yep. just, everyone does it, you know? Yeah, I think with the review stuff, I think that's everybody's gateway to getting comfortable in front of the camera and broadcasting something. And then eventually they're like, now what, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because this, this is, a, th doing all this is a, a pretty large leap for me because I'm not really a big, I'm not really a big people person, but I like individuals. So trying to speak to a broad audience 
even though it might not be for everybody, just doing it in general has been a been a huge leap for me, just getting in front of the camera and just letting it go. But I found that I really enjoy it. Like it's fun. And then when you got like got you guys and then you know the chat that watches us and you know the other people yes. in our circle really makes the whole thing you're like well somebody likes it so and i'm yes. having fun so and, i'm gonna keep it and every one of you out in the chat right now thank you guys so much for tuning in and chatting and, and and meeting us on all these other different channels and and it's just like it's like oh man we got a tight group you know a real tight group and uh I, I enjoyed that too. And I, I was telling my wife today, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm basically like doing podcasts or whatever, doing these live streams and I don't even listen to podcasts or whatever. And, uh, I was like, it's something I was telling her though. It's something that I never imagined me doing. And here I am doing it, but I'm having a blast in the, in the, you know, doing it and, uh, learning so much and getting to know everybody. And like, yeah, just like you said, it's something that I never, Never thought I would do, but here we are doing it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to date myself right here, but I know you guys are old enough to remember. But it, it's like I was telling my wife about Wayne's World, how they sat and shot a cable TV show in their basement. Yes. They, they made themselves what they were, right? And that, that's what YouTube is right now. It's your own basement, right? So it's, Yes, it's kind of <laughs> exactly. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought of it that way, but yes, Wayne's yeah. World, man. Here we are. I'm in and my so damn garage down, right now. <laughs> I got to say, down south, um, the first time I watched Three Star Draw was the first time I ever heard you talk. Um, <laughs> and and this is what I love. Like, I love being up north. You guys are down south. It's a north-south thing again. But but that that accent, that, sick, <laughs> that it's an awesome southern accent. I wish I was like Aaron where I'd be driving and listening, but I'm watching and listening. But that's... Uh, that brings it in, man. I love talking to uh, you now. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's uh anybody that doesn't like it is probably not gonna like listening to me do anything. And I don't I don't really I don't really lay it on thick either. This is pretty much the <laughs> What you see is what you get. And I might exaggerate it once in a while if I'm doing a stupid voice or something. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I think it's a five-star draw myself, but, I mean, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Oh, I gotta plug this phone in. That uh, I remember um, seeing Down South seventy seven in the chat all the time, and all the time, and it just you know these people get like hammered into your head, and then and then I was like, he's like, man, I'm the one who uh, you sent me a action figure or a toy or something, trying to make make me remember. He's like, you already sent me something, or I was like, damn it. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, does you're that really narrow it down. Yeah. Right. Well, this is this is for this is for he got 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 big when he was getting doing all his builds and stuff. Because uh, I was, I I'd uh we sw we traded from the the classified on the classified community page. We traded. That's right. He uh, I he you sw swapped me a uh snow serpent for an eel when eels were oh, unfindable. So we we met on Facebook before YouTube, right? Yeah, because you sent me you you did the the review on the eel, uh, and you give me a shout out as Darren because that's how yes. you knew me then. Yes. And uh, you was like, "Hey, I did a, re a review on the eel. Check the eel. Check this video out." And I was like, "Oh, sweet! This dude's got a YouTube channel." <laughs> <laughs> and I watched it, and then I started following. You. <laughs> oh man, is that how you got sucked into YouTube? All the toy tube. No, I was already watching. Okay, like, you were already here. I was already watching. Uh, I was already watching channels. Uh, I was already watching Punk and uh, uh, several of the other ones, but I wasn't a, a constant because I hadn't decided really to do this yet. I was still kind of toying the idea yeah. of of doing this, which um, this is all my cousin's doing. By the way, <laughs> like, uh, he's the he's the one that kind of convinced me to do it. So. Uh, just turns out I kind of like it, <laughs> right? Right? Because he's been doing it, right? Or he's he's uh 
No, he's he's gonna start a channel. Um, oh, okay. He's he's just his schedule and uh, you know his his son. Uh, he's gonna do a like a pop culture channel, not really focusing on toys. Uh, and he was wanting me to co-host it with him, and it's like, man, I don't really, I can't see me on YouTube talking to people. <laughs> Yeah, and so we kind of toyed with it, and I said, "Well, I, you know, I'll come in and guest with you if you want to do it." And so I started putting my collection together and putting all this stuff together. And he was like, "Dude, you need to do videos." I said, "Why?" <laughs> <laughs> like, because you get all these figures and you talk about them, and you know the community's there. So yeah, it's like, yeah. So he kind of talked me into it. He's like, "You got the background behind you for it." I'm like. It's not really my thing, but he finally kind of kickstarted me into doing it. So I'm hoping soon he can get his off the ground because it's going to be about, you know, stuff we grew up with, the nostalgia factor and like yeah. how that of what the effect of today is looking at it through a lens today kind of thing. Yeah. So that, that's kind of how I even got into doing it. <laughs> Crow, what 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 got you into doing YouTube, man? What got uh, well, you all started? I didn't want to work no more. Like I retired from the army, and I was like, <laughs> I went and got a part time job at some thrift store, and I didn't like working for those people, so started blathering on about the GI Joe stuff as soon as I discovered it. Because uh, you saw the video on the fob; that was the first video I ever did. But I was sending yeah. that to my buddy Ed and um, Newt, two guys like I, I knew that were into Joe. And then we decided to post it on the video, but but after that, I mean, I'm in, I'm in it for the same reasons everybody else does it, right? Like, you could talk forever about this shit. Like, there's just so much connection there with our generation with this product. Like, yeah, yeah I, I could go on forever about it, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it's easy to do when you talk about GI Joe. It was it was such a big part of my childhood like mm -hmm. joe joe specifically because of because of where i grew up and and how I, I had to have imagination and you know i i just i was lucky that i was able to to fuel it with joe's mainly and that became kind of my you know my passion and my escape really was was joe's and i've always had a you know such a love for the line i've said you know, GI Joe got me through childhood. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Aaron and I had talked before and like, we had very similar childhoods. Our, our dads weren't necessarily in the pictures. Our moms were, were slaving to raise us kind of thing. Like I know Aaron's story is very similar. And oh, that, yeah. you know, but Joe was like, it's special. Every time I came from your mom or your grandparents, like, uh, you know, like that, that was a big deal. So I see characters. It worked like, hard to get, to get that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. so, but that was what I was saying. I mean, Hasbro knows it's been a number of years, and all those kids that they touched back then now have big wallets, right? They know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're definitely kicking us in the the mm -hmm. nostalgia balls, and yeah, and I can't really complain too much because it's really brought back some good memories. Yeah. Absolutely. And a lot of us, it led us into comics. And, like, I see the comment here from Woody about the creativity thing. I think Joe was probably, after Star Wars, Joe kind of told you it's a big world out there and there's lots of awesome shit, right? So, yeah, the, the creativity starts flowing out of that. Bobby right. says, any of you guys reading the uh, Energon universe? Yeah. I picked up this today. Nice. Is that How three? much was that, bro? What's that? How much that run? Uh, well, so Canada we charged. Uh, you it says three ninety nine US, so it's probably about five bucks Canadian. It just came okay. out uh, this week, so it's on the comic shelves. But yeah, track that, on Universe. Yeah, is that Cobra Commander three? This is okay. So you guys heard the rumors how you can get little hints and spoilers out of these as to what might become in the classified line. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, so I'm not going to ruin it for anybody with the spoilers I, I thought. <laughs> no spoilers? But, yeah, Down South hates spo spoilers. <laughs> we can probably expect a different Cobra Commander that looks more like Beachhead than anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, have a, 
<laughs> I'm reading uh I've got I've got Cobra Commander. That's actually that's the only one I'm reading. Uh yeah, I've got, I got uh, Duke is uh I've got the first and second issues of Duke, but I don't have them yet because uh cousin picked them up for me. So mm-hmm. I haven't actually seen him to get him to get them to read Duke, but Cobra Commander I'm having shipped to me. There's there's a couple stores that aren't too nice. awful far away that I could go pick it up, but they're out of the way and he yeah. goes to them often with his son. So he just picked them up for me. But I have I have Cobra Commander shipped to me. I had to read that one. That's my boy. I took so. that one to vacation with me and I read that and I, I was almost I almost put it down and said, did I read this right? <laughs> and uh, if you haven't read Cobra Commander number one, I don't know if we're going to give it away. But man, they um, nothing's off the table, right? Hasbro? No, <laughs> no, no they, it, it's all it's all on the table and the, mm-hmm. the direction they went with it. Like nobody expected it and nobody probably would have wanted it if they and they kept it under wraps but it works and it, it's it, i felt like issue two was like way too short but yeah it and, works and that's why i like like i always joke like guys like guys, guys like us would love working for hasbro because half of i think the joy of it and i get why they do things like starduster or cobra law any fucking thing it's um rise to the challenge and make this cool right and yeah Cobra Law is going to be one of those challenges where I don't think a lot of people have a lot of faith that they could do it well in this <laughs> point, but I don't know. Maybe that's an opinion. Well, look, I mean, I I don't necessarily say that I, I want Cobra Law, but I'm going to buy Cobra Law because <laughs> if you look at what they did with Mindbender, how, how silly and kind of lame a character Mindbender was, and what they did with that figure and that set and all the nostalgia feels with the packaging for it. I can't wait to see what they do with Nemesis Immortal. Yep. Hell, I can't yeah. wait to see what they do with Raptor. And I hate Raptor. I hate <laughs> Raptor to death too. And I, I'm, I'm excited about it too, because it's one of those crazy unique characters. It's like, man, they can, they can really do it up, you know, really spectacular if they try. And what so, about the way that they're they're mixing waves? Like oh, characters, yeah. they're just pulling from everywhere. We get we have Doc and Jinx coming together, and they announced they just announced figures from the what the ninety waves, the nineteen ninety waves. So I think they do it because they know people are are stuck, you know, um, eighty six and below or whatnot. They know people are stuck, and they're bringing those, they're feeding those characters little by little to. Like the Alley Viper, you know, and and little by little, we're we're like, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, I, I know did like doing. the nineties a little bit. You know what I mean? And that that and they're being real smart about it, actually. Oh yeah, and yeah. um, yeah, it, it's winning over a lot of people like us. I, I mean, um, we there's characters that have come out that I I know I didn't play with as a kid or just wasn't interested. And um, as I got older, and you know, I, I, my love for GI Joe grew more and more i mean because I, I mean i love it more now than than ever you know <laughs> um but uh yeah it just shows interest into those other characters man i laugh so hard at this because this is the old strategy from the 80s it's the toy line matched up with the comic and they were reflecting each yeah. other i wanted to point this out on 305 uh let's see if i can get that right who dat there welcome to a cobra commander and i'm not talking about the televiber now Techno, techno, techno Viper, right? Weird. Now he's on the cover, same month as the release. It's strange. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. see what you did there, Hasbro. Right, I see what you did. You see that, <laughs> man? I yeah, love the uh, Techno Viper. I do too. Really? I can't, man. I cannot wait for that figure. It looks so good. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't watched any reviews on on him. The the few that have leaked out so far, or whatever thought- that though. I haven't I'm watched a, any. I watched B, B's Battleground, and that was it. <laughs> so, yeah. I have my pre-order in for that thing, but I was not a fan of the Techno Viper. The purple, it, like I said, uh, he kind of reminds me of uh, a guy ready to pressure wash cars in a McDonald's uniform, like Griffith. 
<laughs> but the 788 paint job for the HMS is one that I'm, I was like, I wish you had done this the other way. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like everything that is that 788 theme right now is such a hot commodity. You know, these techno vipers, if you pass on them once, you're not going to get another shake at it. You're just not. <clears throat> yeah. War, War chess. Have a good night, buddy. I'm, Sorry, we uh we haven't been really uh we've just been rolling around talking here. <laughs> War chess is checking out for the night. Yeah, oh, um, that that fire team, like it's okay. I mean, I think I gave the overall set together like a three point seven five or something because that one officer figure is so terrible. But I don't know. I mean, they look cool. I'm glad they're making stuff to complement the Hiss, but I'm not I'm not as all about them as a lot of other people are. I have not ordered the uh the text missile with yeah. the, the, the fire team techno. I hadn't ordered well, it yet. I don't know it, if I'm going to. I just want the techno. I'll tell you why I got on board with this because Aaron knows I don't have a Hiss tank and I, I'm not getting a Hiss tank unless I'm you know, 20 years from now, I find one at a yard sale and I'm like, I remember this. Right. <laughs> but uh, the fire team, I got a good deal on. And Aaron, I'm going to say it right now. My north versus south with you is that my Joes hate Python patrol. And you know how I felt about Python patrol. <laughs> but I bought those figures and I put them in my hand and I respected them. Right. But this is where Python patrol is going now is I'm doing 788 out of them. Like, uh, nice. Putting, putting other kit repaints and just taking everything Python patrol and just putting them into seven, eight, eight colors. Cause it's one of the simplest conversions I can think of to do with that stuff. Oh yeah. Oh and, yeah. You know, just transfer everything to a troop build and be done with it. But yeah, the, the officer was lackluster. I will say that man that, and the Python is the same figure, the Python officer trooper, the officer that's really a trooper. It's yeah. the same. It's the same janky figure. Mm. I've got the same complaint with that figure. I yeah. or I had ordered two of them, and I I traded one, I think, or sold it or something. Because it's like I don't I don't want I don't need two of this dude. But I like <laughs> I, think, I like Python Patrol because uh, yeah, of the because they're too. so gaudy. They're so I, gaudy and I tacky. In fact, I think Hasbro is going to throw a, a curveball at us for the uh, the stun. When the stun comes out, I think we're going to see it in Python Patrol colors before we see it. I think, right. In the yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Python Patrol just made very little sense to me. Like, I read up on it, and it was like, oh, yeah, the, all that uh, Pythonology is uh, stealth. And, you know, it, you, yeah. it makes them stealthy and defeat radar. And I'm like, that Argyle defeats stealth? Like, I can see you a mile and a half away. <laughs> <laughs> I th yeah, I think it was just for, like, radar or yeah. something. Like <laughs> but it's all in good fun. Yeah. And, and I get why guys like them. It was just the blue, to me, was the true Cobra. Yes. Oh, and yeah. I, I always... Yeah. Those guys, yeah. yeah those you are know, the for a cobra. fact. I will always be a true blue boy. I mean, I'm I'm gonna go dress up tomorrow um, and go be a true blue boy. <laughs> no. Down south, this was the first thing Aaron ever sent me was the all three of them because he knew I missed that boat. That's there how I that's, that's what right. I'll be sporting. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I got a really good deal on the uh, infantry when I went to uh, North Carolina or no South no. Where did we go? God, I can't even think. Oh, Savannah. We were in Savannah. We were right in the, the old school town of Savannah. And uh, I went into this toy store, and they had three of them out. I grabbed three of them off the shelf. Um, me and my daughter got a, a set. It was like Father's Day or something like that. We got a second chance to go down there the next day. We're just on vacation, mind you. And me and my daughter sneaking away for an hour going to the toy shop. And they had three more back on the peg. So I grabbed six of them. And they were fourteen ninety nine a piece. Oh damn, that's my yeah. favorite one too. This, the, this the, was just the last infantry, The infantry and the officer; those are my, those, those are my, are, and the Valkyries. So that's how I, this is what makes me mad, right? Because we know this is Hasbro's big repeat money maker. It's their troop build figure. All they have to do is repaint it every time. So why aren't we seeing these in two and three packs, like Vipers? 
Like, you know, because they know they can milk every single lone figure out of you. I think we will. I think they're, I think they're, uh, eventually, I think we're going to get a retro card release on those on either, either the trooper. It won't be, I don't think it'll be the officer. It'll be the infantry or probably the trooper, but I, be cool. I, I hope they retool it a little bit. So, cause it, it is an earlier figure, you know, and they, they have some of those leg issues. So I, I'm glad I you brought that do. up. Because um, the guy I bought this off of, uh, he was a big collector, and he was saying he knows for whatever this is worth the fact that that Cobra Trooper is coming to the retro line. But what he was saying was probably likely, and I can see it now that we've seen the digital render for the Snow Serpent, is that they're going to go to the uh, the cartoon blue and red, right? Is they're going to have the white webbing. Who knows? But it won't won't be the same shades as what we're used to with the classified, I think. And I can believe that if that's true. Yeah. Tell you what would be badass would be if they did, if they did that and they give us that, like what, like what the super seven ultimate trooper looks like, but in classified in retro, but if they give us an alternate head and set of hands, that was a, a black trooper head and hands to make Lieutenant Claymore out of that would be sweet if they did that. But I don't know if they'll give us extra heads and hands with the retros. It's just an idea. I would love to see that. I thought they had, they did. They, they gave us some extra hands before, didn't they? I thought they gave us extra hands for storm shadow in the retro. <laughs> or maybe yes, they they did. he has a throwing star in one hand. I know that. Yeah, I never opened he's, my retro Storm Shadow. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah. He's over here on the end, but yeah, he's got throwing star hands, and I think he's got a ninja chop hand. Yeah, so he does have alternate hands, so they're capable. I guess it's just about whether or not it's on that sprue set that they want to use with the mold or whatever. But I hey, crow, let me see them nunchucks. <laughs> see them nunchucks. Oh, the these. Nuts. Oh, yeah. So nice. You know where I get these from? Where at? Did I ever show you that? Is that Lego? Just, no, these stupid little cheap ass dollar store. Wish we were classified six inch snake eyes. No toys. shit. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, no shit. Wow. They got a bunch of those. At, so, they've got a bunch of those at Ollie's. I buy these. I, I've got them, uh, like six of them. I didn't know they had them jokes. Yeah, they're going to be used as background. But yeah, I bought them for the weapons because I got I got the three point nunchucks from one that comes with one of the Sweet. snake eyes. Well, some of them come with like, well, I'm trying to get the camera angle right. Two commas, like they come with ninja weapons, even bows on Storm Shadow and stuff like that. I find it worth it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that freaking that mech that I've been buying, you know, the one that I, I take parts off of and shit. He he came with uh, he came with this man, and it's it's like right up. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. holy shit. Holy yeah, shit! Man. And the, it comes off of this this grid here, and you know the handgun's a little too small. It's got a radio on there. But anyways, mm -hmm. I, I was uh, what I really want. To, I think it was a uh, man. It's either Turkish Murphy or Jay Astro. I'm sorry if I'm getting if I'm getting the name wrong. Um, they used the the ring of this after they cleared everything out for like computer terminals and stuff like that. And look at oh, the, yeah. look at that! Yeah, oh, see this, yeah. this after you clear out all the little bits and pieces, yeah, and I, I thought that was yeah, a was great crazy. idea. I'm sorry, uh, if Turkish Murphy, Day, Jay Astro, whichever one of you guys are doing that on Facebook, throw it up there, and I'll I'll try to see it in the chat and throw it on screen. But I want to give him the credit. I thought it was a great idea, and I was like, I was like, where have I seen that before? Where have I seen that damn, you know, that plastic piece? And then he told me, I was like, oh, the mech. Yeah, that's perfect reuse for the for that empty weapon tree thing. Yeah. For and us. so that's a big thing, right? Tabletop gamers and modelers using sprues and all that. But it, it begged a good point. I watched, um, I think it was uh, Ch It's Chad one night when he had uh, Robert from Independent Realms and his dad uh, and the toy company they started. And they were showing the sprues they were using for their three and the quarters. And I was saying, like, Okay, if we know toy companies are using sprues, half your market, your 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 customers are used to building small models. Hasbro should be doing little accessories on sprues to throw in with their bigger kits. 
like all you like you talked about your ammo cans on the vamp and all that like we should be seeing sprues of that because it would be cheaper for them to do it on the sprue yeah i just i feel like maybe some of the stuff that's on the sprue is not maybe not as solid or uh, as durable maybe uh, yeah. i don't know maybe it is hmm. <clears throat> I'm just thinking of models like the old school models and how, you know, I know things have come a long way with injection molding, but yeah, uh, stuff like that. So maybe mm -mm -mm. I met a, I met a, a 3d printer guy, um, local, local to here. Well, he's about an hour and a half away from me, but, um, uh, he was showing me this, uh, thing that he printed and it was the, uh, the GI Joe scaled, um, uh, base, you know, but the one from the cartoon, not the not the toy looking fortress, the one from the actual cartoon, and he had yeah. it scaled to where it was sitting in a shelf, and um, it was probably about I think it was around thirty eight inches long, something like that, oh, God. and um, so it was about twelve inches high, right? And he had all his figures, all his good guy, you know, GI Joe figures in front of it. But um, I asked him, I, I said, man, is it possible to scale that? You know, maybe a couple sizes up. He said he could do it. It comes in pieces and everything. But, uh, man, I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of those 3D printed out that looks like the cartoon version. It looked Not amazing. the headquarters. No. Amazing. amazing. That, that's got to be – I hope there's a video to show us something like that soon because that sounds incredible. Bro, it had the red stripe going through it. The cannon, the cannon was, like, perfect. And, and of course, a you know, up door or a, or a open and open it, up door. It, well, we got to think it was it was 12 inches by about 38 inches, almost four feet wide, you know, to fit on a shelf. So it wasn't the scale or anything. But, man, did it did it look so immaculate with his figures in front of it? And I was thinking I was like, man, because I Is wanted to build. Sorry, I'm looking at the chat. Neil Lakurto, are we talking about your thing? Here? Yeah, yeah, Neil, that's you. Oh, he is in there. Yeah, it is Neil. Neil. So yeah, we're talking about his. So yeah, it looked amazing, man. Definitely amazing. And um, he showed me some Star Wars stuff that he did, and uh, he paints and everything. And and you could tell just from all the wash washes that he put on, and just, he spent like an immaculate amount of time on making sure the paint was perfect. Oh, I Phenomenal got guy. Phenomenal guy. Matt. He came and got the uh, Serpentor. Um, the extra Serpentor that I was partnering with. That's a good model I hear. I'm not Cobra Law, but I heard Serpentor is like the pinnacle of the collection as far as effort goes. I, yeah, I think he was excited to um, to actually get it and uh, to, you know, find a, a local person that had it. And uh, he knew it was one of those untouchable, hard to get figures. <laughs> he's, hard to, he's hard to get. Serpentors, Serpentors, he went up way up then he went down and planed plateaued and then he's going back up again him and that damn uh master disguise zartan yeah yeah number 31 yeah. i heard of course, i heard the blood is guys. going down now because of the retro somebody was not saying, really not really not that 31 still real real super hard to get him and blood yeah. man oh my goodness I was gonna say, like if it's going down, it can't be by much because it's still no. not like it's popping up everywhere. I don't see the, it. Firefly didn't even go down much. He come down a little bit, but yeah. he did not uh he didn't come down much when the retro come out and blood, even if even when they do a retro blood, unless they use that same head, yeah, it's not it's not gonna hurt that one a bit. No, that they'll never they'll never top that blood, man. That was no, that oh. the the figures I I mentioned that I just posted in the the group for sale, that was the first one. That was the first one that somebody wanted was that blood. I had a pretty decent price <laughs> on him. I feel, but uh, that was the first one that went. Yeah, blood's one of the only figures that I only have one of, and um, I've never opened them. He's still on my shelf. I would. He you know, um, he, he doesn't stand. He, he he doesn't stand great. He's got a weird thing with like the cut of his 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 feet and his ankles. I mean, you can get him there, but all of those early figures had weird ankles and legs. But blood, you got it. You got to have an open blood, man. He's I want to open him so bad, bro. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> if you're reading that comic, we got the origin behind the eye patch now, right? So it's like, yeah, they're making that blood the blood, like that design mm -hmm. of the character. Well, I'm not, so don't reveal too much. Not oh. that one. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. I won't go any further than that because it's not that much. But damn it. Down <laughs> south, I'm sorry if I ruined any moments for you. I'm the world's worst <laughs> at like telling something that no one wants to hear. But the reason I yeah. like that blood so much, it reminds me of the director Neil Blomkamp, the guy that did Chappie and Elysium and all those movies. Like, there's just something about that armor that's just that wicked sci fi armor for that thing. Yeah. And he, uh, I mean, that was always, even the original, you know, when we were kids, that was always a, a good figure and not an not a easy figure to get for me. I mean, I got him early when i was a kid but you know they did the mail away for him and then he was released a couple of times like it it took me a minute to get a hold of a major blood when i was a kid so when i started getting these guys you know he was one of the harder pieces to to track down and i almost the one that i just sold i really didn't want to part with it i wanted to keep a box set of the cobra island guys but mm -hmm. damn i need to fund some new guys and uh, yeah and i do that too that's why i parted with my serpentor but isn't it crazy like you were talking about the vintage blood it was hard to get when we were kids because he was the mail away and um if you look like here uh i've been vintage collecting like for the past 10 years like straight um but man is he easy to get like on ebay or something yeah you know? You know, that's weird. That's so weird that um he's not hard to find in a vintage form is what I'm saying. Yeah, he is Relative. now. He's easy. We'll, we'll see him again on the retro wave, I guess, before the year is done too, right? Man, so, that would be the shit. I yeah, well, still got, what, three more, three or four more retro card figures that we don't have all the names for yet. I think there's three more that they haven't <laughs> revealed. Yeah. Crow was asking me earlier. He's like, well, what figures don't you have? And I had to really mm -hmm. think. And I was like, damn, I got about everything. And I was like, oh yeah, I don't have retro Zartan and I don't have retro snake eyes. <laughs> I've, I've got them, but I don't, I don't have them open. And I like, those are, those are the best version from what most people say of both of That's those. That's what characters. I heard too. Yeah. yeah the snake cool. eyes looks great. I'll vouch for the snake eyes. I had them sitting around here. I just got them. And I, now that I know that there's a, there's a look, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open. But when I got him, he was the last one on the shelf and I see it, but it's, uh, is that him? Yeah, this is him here. Sorry. My phone's showing me low battery. Are those yeah, hard to get up there in Canada, Crow? Are the retro uh, cards hard to get? Well, they're supposedly not going to be now, but, uh, yeah, they were and the, we don't get them cheap here. That's the thing. Like when you were saying you were seeing older retro cards selling at, I think you said they were under thirty dollars for sure for you guys. But forty nine ninety nine is the average at the Toys R Us for a retro card. And Walmart hmm. stopped carrying them in most places out here. So sorry, guys. Wow. They're, they're um yeah their their retail here is twenty at Walmart's twenty four ninety seven, but hmm. the same ones have been warm and pay or since I've been in classified and that's lady J gung ho, um, blah, blah, yeah, Destro and Baroness. And they're finally just now marking them down to 15 bucks. Oh, wow. Here. Yeah. I saw them. That's what, that's what they're at. But that snake eyes and Zartan and storm shadow and crimson guard, I've never seen any of them on a peg anywhere. I know the Crimson Guard has showed up in a couple stores near me, but I the other that. three, they never hit here. I yeah, found I one Crimson down. Guard on the peg, just one. And I, I remember I filmed it. <laughs> Did you see somebody posted in the group the other day that they found a bunch of the the Crimson I, Guard cards? And I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that. I, I'd have called did, bullshit, though, but he, found he posted the receipt. Yeah, he posted the receipt. I'd have called bullshit, but he showed I, his receipt. I know he did, but I was like, man, I would love to be in that guy's shoes walking into that Walmart and be like, I'd, I'd have to look around and be like, is this a setup or something? Yeah. And then I'd be like. <laughs> I do know. I, I, um, I, would have, I would have been like arm loads if I could find a retro card on sale for anywhere because I know how hard it is for guys to get them. But we just never see them. Never yeah. see them. 
I know I know a, a one Walmart that <coughs> is somewhat close to me. It's it's near me. Um and it is in probably the only city that I go to or go through and I go through a lot for work. Um that they've still got Lady J, Dusty, Zorana, and they still had last I checked four of the box fifty Crimson Guard on clearance, but they're they're marked down to seventeen. Oh, so I've checked oh them God. a couple times, and I I want to buy the, the Crimson Guards, but I did find three at Ollie's one time for five bucks. So even at seventeen, like I don't need them. If I if they go any cheaper, if they get down to twelve, I'll buy them. But I, I hid two of them. Yeah, <laughs> just in yeah. case, so I can go back and check. There's the Ollie's. Felt like it. a felt like a kid again hiding action figures somewhere. I don't, gotta meet yeah. the Ollie fellow. Like don't it. feel bad. I couldn't find these either. Uh, my buddy Guy, who's in the Guy M, he's highlighted in the chat right now. He said he he just he just saw a Lady J retro for seven bucks. That's a pretty good price. But uh, that's yeah, about yeah, what I got her for online. I, I didn't have it because I wouldn't pay twenty five dollars for it, and I already, already had the box version of it. So I waited, and they, I got her online. Her and Baroness, I, I ordered. I think I did a short or something on it, but I got both of them from Walmart online for like fourteen sixty. Wow! Like nice. And, and they're <laughs> over here. I'm, I opened Baroness because I didn't have an open Baroness. Yeah, she, I, she's always on the pegs at my um, Walmart. And then, like, when the, my Walmart is really shitty. When they reduce something, they just drop, like, a dollar or two on it. And it's, like, it's bullshit reductions. That's, it. That's what they've been doing with them up until the last three or four weeks. And they're finally oh, really? starting to, yeah, now they're, because that I would see them, I would see her, Lady J, on clearance for, like, $21 or $19. I'm like, y'all must want to hang on to these for a while. Yeah, because that, that ain't no clearance. That's like with the Moss Man that we've been seeing. Um, I see them in Oli's for like 15 bucks. It's the Masterverse one or whatever. Yeah. It's like 15. It's like, man, and he's been there since Christmas. It's like, man, when are they going to drop the price on this fig? They still have like a couple cases of them, you know? It's like, and that's what I've been waiting for. Um, yeah, I want to get him too, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm even whatever fourteen, thirteen dollars. I'm not going to pay that for him. I don't like because I know it'll much. drop down more. No, yeah, the the origins, the the flocked one at Walmart's got that's the superior version of him anyway. So, you know what I haven't seen, and uh, I don't want to do any spoilers or anything. What I haven't seen yet, have you seen the X Men '97 cartoon yet? I haven't watched mm -mm. it. I no, I, I don't. Okay. I don't have. I don't have Disney Plus, so. Oh, okay. I, I'm, and I'm not an X Men fan, so yeah. I, you. I don't care if you spoil it. I ain't gonna watch it. Oh, shit okay. Anymore. I don't. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen it either. I was gonna ask you guys how it is, but I'm probably gonna actually sit down and watch it after the stream. Um, I was gonna yeah, check if it I had, out. You know, if I did I buy Disney some... Plus. I'd watch it, but I'm. Yeah. I don't. We yeah, do have it. I hardly watch TV, but I did buy the figures. I bought the uh, Wolverine and and uh, a, a few other ones. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. But, yeah, yeah. And I like, saw I saw the review on the Bishop for that line, and that it was. Uh, I mean, they're fine looking figures, and it makes me. Yeah, I'm nostalgic to watch that cartoon again, but. Yeah, uh, I, it's not worth a Disney Plus subscription when, to me, you're only watching like one series every four months. Yeah, like, and I get that. Days. The only reason I have Disney Plus is because I got the kids, and you know, yeah. They, oh yeah, oh, you just turn it on and say, "Here you go." And Miss <laughs> Missy's a big time movie buff. Like she watches all kinds of. That's that's her thing. She loves watching movies. So yeah, we got. Well, I had it. I got it just for when Mandalorian come on. I, I just yes. wanted it for Mandalorian, and I watched all of those. Yeah, and those were good. Actually, I actually canceled it before season three. I hadn't seen season three of Mandalorian, but I'm just so – Disney's turned me off of everything they make now, so I, I don't see me, like, renewing it, but they have a ton of good movies on there, uh, all of the Marvel stuff. They've even, I think they added, didn't they add the Netflix Punisher to it too, finally? 
I hear a while oh, back. I haven't but, seen. No, you know what? That's something that I haven't seen, but I love Punisher, oh, bro. Dude, you're missing out. The good end of the guys. Yeah. I gotta check it out. Yeah, you're what? missing out. You need to. You need to see that. You need to see that yeah. that Netflix series Punisher. That's I couldn't see. Really, I would. I take, couldn't. Go I, ahead. Yeah, I would take any Netflix. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, oh, I was just gonna say no, I, I couldn't like, see him. You, I take any Netflix over the last five years of Marvel movies. Like oh yeah, Daredevil yeah. And the Punisher. Yeah, um, that I couldn't see him as as Punisher when they announced he was playing him. But I mean, you you don't see it any other way once you watch it. He 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 does he plays it, and it, it takes a couple episodes for you to not see Shane from Walking Dead, but he gets into it. Yeah, you see, uh, guy Ma- yeah. guy M he uh, he said he's got the Moss Man for ten. I seen you post up up there. Yeah, I would do ten too, man. On um, Moss Man, I would I would definitely do the ten, and that's why I'm saying like, I know they're gonna come down because you know uh, they're coming down in other people's cities. So, well, Ollie's doesn't like Ollie's doesn't drop their stuff much when they uh you know when they get it in and they 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 price it, they don't um. They don't really, uh, they don't drop it much. Like, there's not much of a sale at Ollie's. Like, look at all them damn Eternals figures that they got. At what point do they turn that shit back into raw materials and just sell it to somebody that melts plastic back down? You know, it, drop them down to $2 so people that customize everything can buy them for fodder. But they're my, the Ollie's I go to has got shelves and shelves of Eternals and Black Panther and... Yep nobody buys it for whatever nine bucks, 10 bucks, whatever they sell them for. Yeah. Like they're just, but they don't, they don't reduce it anymore. What's up dreadnought. I see you come in. There. Yeah. What's Good up? You, buddy. What's up dreadnought. We were talking about you earlier. Crow brought you up and, uh, we knew, you. we, we know, we don't know your, your exact situation, but yeah, we're, we're keeping good thoughts and, um, you know, uh, I see you see your your mom's surgery, so we're gonna we're gonna have some prayers going out for your mom, and hope everything goes well, buddy. Yes, sir. <clears throat> but I, I hope they get some. Yeah, those, I, uh, those I, I, I've been hoping they. I was just gonna say I was hoping Ollie's get some more of that Crimson Guard case, but I think they're done. Yeah, I I wish they would. That's like Ross with the Vipers. Oh my goodness! If I ever see another freaking Viper three pack. I mean, I'm just on it. That was probably one of the best things I ever picked up last Did you year. Have Python Patrol? What's what that? You say Python Patrol hit all this year? I thought Python Patrol Officer hit Ollie's or Ross. 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 Oh yeah. Was it Ross? Same as yeah. I found one case right? of those. I never saw anything. The only uh, the no. the Ross that I go to, man. Um, They're still asking fifty bucks for. Here. Good lord. What? Well, I sent uh I sent Shark Eyes a, a a Dusty and I picked I had an extra one here that I had picked up way back when at Ollie's. Um and I just picked up a spare and he'd asked if anybody had a dusty because over there in Australia, just regular dusty from that wave is like fifty or sixty bucks Australian. Isn't that nuts? Hey, uh, down south seventy seven. Before I forget, how much did it cost to ship that? Um, it was twenty three dollars, okay. and I shipped it loose. Shipped it loose. Okay. Yeah, he. I mean, he he paid it's in a bubble shipping. envelope. No, oh fuck no! I don't ship nothing in no envelope, man. <laughs> Look at what you got. <laughs> hey, hey, your shit comes pristine, like like the guy, like you know, he like had a yeah. bow on it and he he yeah, carted yeah. it up to the house. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting anything shipped from me in a damn envelope. But yeah, he man. he wanted him. Uh, he just said ship him loose. He didn't care about the box. So and he paid shipping on it because I just charged him. You know what I had in the figure? It was six dollars, is what I bought it for, or five, whatever. And yeah. so he paid shipping and still got it for half of what he could find it for over there. But yeah. uh, so yeah, the 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 scarcity of figures in certain areas that are we see everywhere peg warming, and they can't get them in other places, and yet they have 
Toys R Us up in Canada that has exclusives for us sitting on the shelf, at least in some of them. Yeah, but do you never see them on a drop price? Like I said, Tiger Force up here, I think it's the same. I think what we get in Toys R Us is what you get in Target, if I'm understanding yeah. that. I think right? that's right. And we they never bought them at prices. But uh, the the little guy stores, like we're like the comic stores and the, the friendly local game shops, these are the guys that get screwed somehow when they start carrying a classified that they can't sell because they can't yeah. put it on the clearance price, right? Because yeah. uh, the shop out here, he's got the Zorana and the Dusty as well, but he's got them capped out at the max price and he's not going to be able to drop them even though he knows yeah. they're peg warmers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they get hung, and and they're generally going to be much smaller stores, so their shelf space for those peg warming figures is going to be a premium. So, you know what they're like. You said they're stuck with them. What are they going to do? So I can see why a lot of those shops don't carry a ton of them. No, and I mean we're the worst kind of collectors, right? Because we try to we try to maximize every dollar out of this collection. If you're two dollars, three dollars higher than the next guy probably not stopping by right like right yeah and the, and carrying them you know like they got to do more than break even to make it worth their while that's right at least a little yeah yeah let's yeah. we'll say hi to legend series in here what's up buddy um uh, i don't think i've seen them in here before hey, what's up legends i don't think i have either anywhere woody triple two knows who they are the so, you know, got a video to watch. <laughs> oh, right. Hey, if new guys are stumbling on this, that's a good thing, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah well, always. Sounds like Legend Series is a possible toy tuber, so I got to write his name down real quick. <laughs> What's up, Legends? Good to meet you, buddy. Legend Series. All right. Well, I still I got this. Yeah, and, I mean, Don Seth, you're probably with me on this one when they said – uh I think it was either Woody or one of the others was asking, like, how can you pass on Big Boa? And I was looking at it, I was like, because when it comes to how many pre-releases are coming all at once, Big Boa being at the bottom of the list, it's like that movie We Were Soldiers, when he's like, when I need a rifle, there'll be plenty lying around when I need one. You know, like... Right. I, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, you, uh, I know you got some rifles coming your way, that's for sure. I I got a couple I threw in a little package for you, Crow. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, that, that you big bowl, man. See, now we got to do the back and forth again. <laughs> <laughs> like a damn boomerang. <laughs> yeah, we we're just talking about Australia. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it just tells you the refrigerator Perry could be coming, right? <laughs> no, they can't get his likeness. His family wants too much for his likeness. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. That it won't. It won't happen because what? of that. Because of greed. Well, football wasn't going to get you rich. I don't think Hasbro will. <laughs> man, yeah, he wasn't. Right. Dude, I know he was a real life character that came in there, but man, he was not. Definitely not no damn Sergeant Slaughter. He was. The no. complete opposite <laughs> yeah he was uh they was just kind of capitalizing on the champ on the on the championship bears back then <laughs> yeah. i don't i would have rather got- i'd have rather seen a uh some of the some of the other players and they go need a walter payton so he can hang out with uh hit and run yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, I like hitting around now. He's one of the last characters that I remember picking up off the pegs. Shane Shane says here he wants the uh, he wants a big boa to make the guy from the Road Warrior. I know his Humongous. name. Humongous. Yes, Lord Humongous. Humongous. That was sweet. And you could do it pretty easy out of that figure too. Oh, he looks uh man that big boa that was a I had him as a kid and I got him and I'm like why do I even have this dude? But that was when we thought we were getting Rocky. So you had to have him to fight Rocky. And Mm -hmm. as ridiculous as he was, he made sense as a Cobra trainer. Somebody's got to train those guys to fight. But I was going to skip him because, you know, over over the time, he's kind of lame. And then they showed him off. And I think that's why they showed that figure and didn't do, you know, 
they were like, here he is. This is what you're getting. And they showed him off. And I was like, holy crap, they made me want Big Boa. And that, like, it does this, it, not wanting it isn't a slam against Hasbro for making a bad figure. I am sure that is an amazing figure. Everything I see of it looks great. Just on I, the appeal level, it's just not there. I think that has that is why. The, and this is one of the things that me and my cousin Pop Blender have talked about quite a bit over the last year, year and a half, some of the choices that they've made with the characters that they picked to do, like why did they pick this character when they could have picked him or why did they do a Tiger Force version first? But I think that is some of the reasoning that goes into um, the characters they pick is because they're going to, they say to themselves, well, let's take this character that's looked upon as kind of silly and a character that's not liked and let's do them awesome and make people want these kind of lame characters. I think that's what they've done with several. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just exactly. Bobby, Bobby said his alternate head should be, uh, should have been Sylvester. So it's still on. <laughs> I think it was modeled after it, wasn't it? I, didn't they say I, they kind of tried to pay an homage to Stallone because of the whole debacle for the book boy? I can't I remember. I didn't hear that. I didn't. I can't I remember. remember exa there was something similar to that. I can't remember exactly what was said, or I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I remember, I don't something remember it like that going down. I was driving while I was listening to most of that. So yeah, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sure I heard somebody saying that that was kind of slipped in there to kind of mock the whole debacle between Sylvester Stallone and that contract back in the day. But yeah. Yeah. What's and that? What's Rodeo's that new? Comment, uh, Bobby, Wold, Bobby Wold made that Rodeo's comment with Breaker. The yeah, Jake yeah I was just all talking all about that. Yeah. What, what's yeah, that Roadhouse was, that, about? The, the new Roadhouse. Is that a, a, just a whole new movie? No, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Don't spoil it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, yeah. It's a, it's a whole, it's a reimagining. Oh, like okay. Where do I catch this warlock at? <laughs> Amazon. It Amazon? dropped on Amazon yeah. today. Yeah, I was actually probably going to watch it tonight until you did this, but I'm like, yeah, I'd rather do that. That's more important I than a, a shitty it. remake. Roadhouse on Amazon. Like Amazon where I buy stuff? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, the movie, like the prime movie. Oh. Could it be as bad as Keanu List Point Break? The second Point Break? <laughs> it, I, I've watched the trailer for it. It looks as bad as Keanu List Point Break. Uh, it's it's, yeah, it's got a uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got Conor McGregor in it. Like really? for some reason, yeah, oh, he's in it. He he plays the he's supposed to play the 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 Jimmy type enforcer dude. Really? So, yeah. You knew he hated and, that role, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, right. And he looks like I said, I've only watched the trailer like a couple of times, but I mean, he looks fucking terrible wait you can watch the trailer until he can't act <laughs> so at dreadnought i like i actually like connor i don't watch ufc stuff but yeah, I, like, yeah. I like i like i like connor just i like kind of like at least when he come out you know? oh yeah he's entertaining he's entertaining yeah. i just don't like his jujitsu man his jujitsu sucks man and he gets choked out all the damn time it's like bro Learn yeah. how to defend. You know, someone gets on your back, man. You gotta know what the hell to do by now. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, after getting your ass kicked so right. many times. But man, Conor McGregor likes himself enough for everybody, so it's all good, boy. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is this is true. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I want to watch it. I won't say, I won't say I, I I've too. been looking forward to it, but I have been. I guess, I, I guess in a way I have, because it's one of those movies that I almost like it, your expectations are so low. It's probably got to be better than what you're expecting. Yeah. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. hoping it's a sleeper, eh? Yeah. Uh, but I see one I hope is good as I plan on going to see Ghostbusters Afterlife this weekend. Yeah. 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 That, that's one I'm hoping too. Shane says the Beetlejuice looks great. Is that Beetlejuice movie really happening? That's going down. This yeah, time it comes comes out in uh, S September twenty third or thirteenth. Okay, because I've been hearing yeah. about that for years, man. Oh like, yeah, I, I didn't know what to believe. 
Yeah, it's been rumored for forever, but yeah, yeah they're uh, yeah, I, they hadn't dropped the trailer for it yet. There's been some images leaked that oh, uh, man. That, that have leaked and that they have leaked. But yeah, it's got uh, it, it looks great, man. Jenna Ortega plays uh, uh, li- uh, Lydia. Lydia's daughter. Yeah, in it, uh, she's gonna kill it, dude. So many good movies out, man, are coming out. That's awesome. Civil War. Did you see the previews for that? Yeah, that that one, man. That that's a. I I think it looks pretty good, but uh. I don't know, man. I don't think that's the right time to bring a movie like that out. Here. I was going to yeah. ask you how you felt about that, because doesn't it pit the South against the Central States kind of thing? Like, isn't there a whole... Are you I think that? it's a... <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's, it's going to be more of a, like, politically divided than... I, there really hadn't released a whole lot about the plot for it. But I, I don't think it's an election mm. year for us here. It's going to be a pretty crazy one. And I just don't think that's a good. I think it's in bad taste to release a movie like that that that's puts fair. something in a, in that's a fair. in a you know pitting anybody against anybody in this country because it's we're on a we're on a precocious or precarious uh, ledge right now. I don't want to go all political, but I just, the movie looks good, but I think it's not a good time to bring it out. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's one you thing know, I always try to stay away from is politics, yeah. religion, you know, race yeah. stuff. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. Really Jay Astro. Cool. Yeah. Remember, back to Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a Canadian. Everything we watch down there, we're just like, going, Oh, what are they? And it's good to know that a movie where it talks about a war in your country might set you off a little bit. That's good to know, actually. Yeah. Like, I, I can respect that. Yeah, <laughs> depending on who you are, I guess. But, yeah, I don't – the movie looks cool, and I'll pro- I probably will see it, but I just – I, I, don't, I think it's bad taste, but yeah, Beetlejuice. I'm I'm hyped for Beetlejuice. Me too, uh, man. Because it, it was yeah. such a good movie when we were kids, man. I it mean, growing perfect. up, bro, it goes right perfect. there with it like, like my- Goonies and you know all that, all the movies. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And um, and you brought up uh, Ghostbusters as well. So like Michael Keaton, Dan Aykroyd, all these guys are coming back for all this. This is a good time for movies like that. Yeah, well, I think the, I, love I seeing think that. they. I think what they realized was if they want to infuse and revitalize some of these, so revitalize some of these older franchises because they're out of ideas. Uh, mm-hmm. The only way that they're going to be able to do it is to infuse the older actors and the, from the original movies into it somehow and give us some kind of a plot that works rather than just remaking the same shit. And he brought up point break point break was great for a cheesy popcorn movie, but in a good action movie is a great action movie, but nobody wants to see point break remade. So if they wanted to do another point break, they needed to bring back Keanu and introduce special agent Texas or whatever the fuck. And, uh, and they that's what they're doing with Ghostbusters. They're, yeah, they're, yeah. Right. They're well, infusing the new one with the old. Yeah. Neil says, uh, Neil says, give us a real GI Joe movie with characters and vehicles. We all want to love. Wouldn't that be, I mean, if someone could ever produce the epic, you know, with the colors that we're used to seeing, the people that we're used to seeing, and then not killing the whole freaking team off in the first movie, you know, and all that. Wouldn't that be just an epic, epic movie yeah. to see? And we don't I mean, need we don't need nanomites, and we don't yeah. need mech suits and superhuman yes. suits. We need. It's good already guys laid down. The, the, I, the Bible is set for it. You just gotta just make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Uh, well, that's the hope. Like, did you watch that Beast Wars movie or whatever that last Transformers movie was, where they, they I, plugged that? I, I actually did watch it, and it was actually better than I was expecting it to be. Yeah. But if you ask me a bunch of questions about it right now, I wouldn't be able to tell you shit about it. <laughs> but I did see it. <laughs> that's where I get guarded about a Joe movie, right? Because we've had three kicks at the cat, and I think out of three, we had one. 
one good one, one I'll take it and one go take that to the dump. But <laughs> when it comes to Transformers, when you get everything you want, we've seen what that looks like, right? And I think Transformers fans got way more than they ever asked for out of that. I think it was saturated. Like, I, I yeah. worry they'd overdo Joe. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's what they tried to do when they did it. They they mm -hmm. added too much sci-fi, and they tried to cram too much stuff into the first movie, but especially the second movie. Mm -hmm. Right? We didn't need. We didn't. If we were going to get Joe Colton, we needed Joe Colton in the first movie. Yeah. Not not just hey, we added Bruce Willis to this this cast, and we picked <laughs> this name for him to play. Yeah. I had to I had to shake my head three times to realize that they made Cobra Commander and Mindbender the same guy. No, they were well, he was he learned everything from him and they kind of assumed his identity. Yeah, he was the her brother. It Baron's seems weird brother. to not give us Mindbender and Cobra Commander as a tag team rather than just we kept talking about Mindbender passively. It was like he's huge. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He, that, they they screwed that movie up on so many so many levels. I mean, it was a is it it had good parts, but mm. it was generally embarrassing for '80s Joe fans. You know, we finally get it, and this is what they give us. And right, Marlon Wayans mm. is fucking ripcord. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come on, come on, yeah. dog. It was yeah. so relevant that like they killed off Duke, done a little better. Like, they did in the cartoon. They actually kill off Duke, and nobody gave a shit, right? Like it was like, oh yeah, yeah, they, okay, good job. No but big deal. Was, right, right off the rip, they did it. Yeah, no and, big I mean, deal. Like, we'll talk just, about the biggest the fucking leader of GI Joe there. Yeah. Well, Channing, Channing Tatum asked for his character to be killed off because he was like, I bet he did. This, <laughs> this is a. He's like, this is a. This is a dumpster fire, and well, see, that's that's what I heard. I heard that uh, he actually loved GI Joe, and he was not happy with what the hell was going on. Yeah, no. and he 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 was excited to do the movie, and then he he found himself signed into it, and that's the direction they went with it. And he's like, yeah, I don't want to be part of this. He's like, and I don't, don't want to do it. That's what confuses me. So Hasbro sees this with the last two movies, and they know there's no toy line sitting there that's going to do well anymore, like out of that for class. But yet Snake Eyes Origins, they put so much faith into that. They worked it into the goddamn numbers of this line, right? Yeah. Knowing that those figures were not going to resonate as well. And that kind of drove me about how that was managed. Just like three movies. Why did the, any of them make it into this line with that faith? Like, well, I think they were the Snake Eyes movie. I think they were they were kind of counting on that to re, kind of revitalize that Joe brand because they knew that they shit the bed with the movie. So they're like, well, everybody likes Snake Eyes. Let's make a Snake Eyes origin movie, but not use hardly any of Snake Eyes origin, including his ethnicity. And... Yep. Uh, and it was a horrible, horrible movie. I've never seen it all. I can't make no, it through it. I've watched it through once. I've made two, three efforts to rewatch it. I won't. It's just by the time you get to a certain point, it's like, this isn't even a, a G.I. Joe movie. This is just some guy that looks like Snake Eyes costume. Yeah. And that figure uh, from the movie, the, the line, the figures, it's a good Snake Eyes figure. Uh, I actually bought one to open and play with, but I was like, yeah, I'm not going to open this. It's I picked up that whole line at Ollie's. Man, yeah. that, what a mistake that was, numbering those and putting them in the classified. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. I've never opened one myself, so, Crow, I know you, you've probably cussed. I've got the Akiko. I thought the customer. Akiko was worth having and the Scarlet were worth having. And then I took my yeah. storm shadow and I kit bashed it with something else because it wasn't very good. But yeah, the snake eyes, I think, is it's a fine snake eyes. And at least yeah. you get a second head, you can work with something else, right? Like, <clears throat> yeah, it, I mean, I bought them, I bought those figures. And I, like I said, I got them all, I picked them all up one day at Ollie's because they had the whole line, they were five bucks. 
I was like, well, I wasn't even going to get these figures, but they are numbered. They are part of the line, whether we like it or yeah. not. Yeah. And they're all here in front of me right now for the price of one figure. Yeah. Just do it all in one shot. And I don't, I can put them in the back of the shelf. And I think that's what everyone, <laughs> when everyone's seen that deal going on. And, and I think a lot of people that were on the fence about those figures bought them then. Yeah. You know, just, just to complete well, their that, collection. Well, the, and that's the thing. I, I felt bad the other day because I mentioned it in my video and I realized it comes off almost like a, hey, I have not hater, but it, it kind of sucks that the, the his tank in all its glory, those figures are numbered into the line as well. Yes, like yeah, I would have liked uh, to see them outside of the line. Yeah, yeah, that is, no, um, no offense to that. The, the Haslab, it's a great project, great figures, but to put them in there, is no, it, you're, is, abs you're absolutely right. Isn't the dragonfly like that too? I mean, we got numbered yeah. figures, yeah, you know, that to too. yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I do not like that. Now, I'm fine with the 60th anniversary dudes not being numbered, they shouldn't be. Sure. But that's what the HasLab, the HIS, was a special project that required special backing and special funding. Not that was the first was time in. I ever I ever done one. Was I never? I so, didn't. Uh, Crow was talking about you know you got the the fire team, but you you don't have a, a HIS yet. When I ordered the fire team, I didn't have a hiss either because I didn't back it. I wasn't in the line yet. I wasn't collecting yet. Yep. And my cousin tried to get me to back it. I was like, I'm not going to spend $300 on a toy, and I have not one other figure to go with it. Plus but, the weight. The weight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fa but fast forward to the, to the fire team. I ordered the fire team not even knowing for sure that I was going to have a hiss because I thought they looked cool. What was you saying, Crow? Mm -hmm. No, yet, I mean, you do, I, I would just, just thinking, you know, I almost hope that they, Hasbro had to have identified that at some point, what they were doing, whether they'd get some feedback on that. I wonder if they have a retro plan for those characters. Like someday they'll appear on individual you know what i mean Get right. those numbers again. at least the commander i mean everybody wants that metal face cobra commander i mean who doesn't yeah yeah there well there he's like almost confirmed like the retro version of him i mean they're they're doing him they've already got, they got the listing i think maybe i mean we're getting him that's why i have an open mind i had an open my his cobra commander because i've got no attachment to that mickey mouse logo i didn't <laughs> yeah. have one as a kid my my that cobra commander when i was a kid i didn't have the mickey mouse one so i can wait i've made do without that figure this whole time i'll wait for a retro or if i get a good deal in a trade or something on another one maybe i'll pick one up to open but i can wait i want battle arbor cobra commander yeah, yeah. That 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 one though, I mean that that Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander. I think even when the you know, like when we think of hard to to get figs, we're thinking of Zartan Thirty One, you know, Serpentor, Mindbender. But uh, I'm sh I know that Cobra Commander Mickey Mouse one is definitely going to be a sought after, hard to find figure, um, you know, hard to obtain, and anything that comes from these Haslabs on these numbered situations i mean they have to be at a lower count than what their their count is for production on the other figures so i mean oh yeah goodness it, it would almost make those prices on those figures like just go through the roof and never come back down yeah, um, that's yeah the only... they've they've kind of leveled off a bit but i mean i seen they're that all, i seen them gonna, steady up <laughs> yeah they're all gonna sell they're always gonna sell high because there was what his tanks 28,000 that were that were backed you know yeah i think it's like 27 27 28 something like yeah. that units you know so there's only you got to figure they probably produced another maybe thousand on top of those so i think that cobra commander will always be like you said one of the the harder to get ones but i think that double o snake eyes and uh the 
Master Zartan. I think or those, harder. and then always going to be the two, the two crown jewels, or you know, grails, or whatever. Yeah, I, I, with Serpentor and Commander and Mindbender next. And so that's a one thing I'm afraid of too. Like if you think about it, it's been forever since we've had a good Double O Snake Eyes kind of set come out that was like like that. And then it's like, okay, well, if the next one. Who do we think it's going to be? It sounds like it's going to be either Stardust or, or Nemesis. And for a big high-end set like that, I don't know if those are the characters I'd want. You know. Well, that's I mean that's what they did with Mindbender. Nobody wanted, you know, yeah. but the, you know nobody wanted him as a super deluxe figure. But they did a fantastic job with it. Now the Starduster, you know he's going to be an exclusive. They've already hinted that they're going to do the whole cereal box packaging. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, those new exclusives, like from this year, they they produced the shit out of them. I mean, the Crimson Strike team $62 right now. So yeah, uh, even yeah. Chuckles, Chuckles was available forever. Like, I got a code, and I got him from SDCC and then when he became available I ordered some more. Right. But he was available for a long ass time where you could yeah. order. He's sold out now though, yeah. And yeah, that's he finally what sold me. out. I get the, yeah, I got the Crimson Strike team no problem, but I pictured that being synonymous with having access to Chuckles just because of the way the box art leads them together. No, yeah. I can't find Chuckles anywhere. Yeah. Uh. Never could. So it's yeah. weird what He's, we don't out here. Chuck, I I like, but I like Chuckles anyway. I mean, I do I, too. I, I love that figure. I wish I knew you didn't have one. That was the second one I just sold. It <laughs> <laughs> was one of my, my extra Chuckles. Yeah, Chuckles was yeah. night for us at some point. So yeah, yeah, that's 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 how we'll get another Chuckles. Is they're going to do yeah. night force Chuckles? Yeah. yeah, you know they are. That'll yeah. look cool too. I don't have Maybe. um. I don't have the tunnel rat. That's the, that's one of the only two figures I don't the have. Night Force, Night Force one. Force I like the Night rat. Force one better than the original. But see, I, got, I don't care. I don't care about Night Force, and I've already got Tunnel Rat, and he's not that great, so I haven't got him yet. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's a little overloaded for what he does, but absolute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Neil he, Neil uh, says I can't wait to get my chuckles. We're gonna we're trying to work out a deal where. I'm trying to get him a chuckles. There you go. We, uh, we're, we're, I probably I gotta, spelled one. <laughs> we're doing some trading, and I gotta I gotta dig through my secret stash I got before I do the trading. I gotta double check. I forget what I have put away. Yeah, so. I've only got I've only got one more, but I'm I'm getting a, a sealed set. I am getting a sealed set of the exclusives. So I need to I do need to order that strike team while it's sixty two dollars but i yeah. haven't i haven't taken i haven't opened the one i got i mean i've opened it and looked at the figures but they're all still in there like i haven't taken them out because i don't care about them all that much that baroness is just awesome i, yeah, I bought I, one I and opened it up so yeah i had uh i like the gold i like the gold weapons nobody else likes them but you know, i like prophet director destro so I'll tell you the little thing I liked about it is uh, the gold stands have their names on them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I always look for that. Like on all these stands that, well, you know, we got the stands with the 60th and all that. I always look for that, but yeah, that was something I noticed. They, they had their names on them, but then it pisses you off. If you have profiteer Destro, he doesn't have a stand that's gold and has his name on it, but he belongs right with that set. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he goes with, He's perfect beside that Baroness. Yeah, and, absolutely. And the, their little lore that they give us in little bite-sized chunks maybe was that he made that goofy kabuki mask for her because it's supposed to be cybernetic and all that. I hate that mask. <laughs> that that gold, damn mask. That gold I mask. I hate it. Yes. I didn't know it's, that. It's in it. a box. <laughs> I've never even used it. Yeah, I know some people seem to really like it and it photographs well, but I just don't like it. Like it just oh, it's silly. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I did like that Baroness though. That Baroness was uh well done in my opinion on the yeah, uh, it's I really just want an extra I really just want an extra Baroness, but I mean 
that's yeah, the more she's, expensive she's figure. banging. I that's actually even wants. like the the black and gold cobra they threw in with this. Yes. Yeah. I, I was looking through my accessory bucket the other day, the box, and I, I was like, where'd that black coat? I was like, oh, yeah, that came with the strike team. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. that mask, you'd figure, like, if they wanted to do that gold mask for the Baroness, like you're saying, then they should have done it for Tomax and Zamont, too, and had that option. Then, you know, all three are nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It, yeah, it's a good point. They should have done it for all of them. Yeah, but you know they don't have the the swappable face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey guys, I I appreciate you guys coming on with me tonight and staying this late. I didn't realize we'd go this late. Actually, we're already two and a half hours in, man. Wow. Thank you guys so much. Um, real quick, Down South seventy seven. Throw out your channel for anyone that catches the replay. What what's your channel? Uh, if anybody is not. Subscribe to it. It is three star draw D R A W L. Don't forget the L because you're gonna you're gonna get all kinds of crazy shit if you don't. <laughs> yeah, you get a bunch. Of, you get a bunch of people that just draw pictures of stars. I have been told. Yeah. So, so check out down south down south seventy seven at three star draw. I know a lot of people are you know in the chat are subscribed, but that. You'd be surprised. My replays are getting higher and higher on the lives for some reason. And Crow, um, let everyone know where they can find you and uh, and a little bit about your channel. Yeah, so uh, you can find me at uh, Crusty Old Crow on YouTube and on Instagram. And that's about all I need to say about it. That yeah, I just blather on with Joe about everything else, like like the rest of us. And, this was Crow. fun, man. Thanks for having me on here. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, Crow has an awesome channel, you guys. He's so modest. He's uh he has uh the most free time out of us, so uh he gets he gets to sit there and tinker the most. I'm and so I jealous, bro. You accomplished <laughs> yeah. way more at the time you got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. That's I appreciate you. True. Appreciate you having me on. Oh, thanks for yes. thanks for having me on. It's been fun. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Down South, for the awesome Chevy. I'll tell you what. This is what's going to happen with the Chevy. We're going to do that Chevy. We're going to do it different from the one I, I've done. But after we're, we're done with it, I'm shipping it back to you, buddy. No, <laughs> hey, no. Give, if you're yeah. going to do that, man, if you're, you're going to do that, give it away. It. Give it away. I'd rather you, no, I'd rather you give it, it to one of your subscribers. It's going back to you. You're going to get a custom made Chevy <laughs> truck by the toy enhancer. You go, go ahead and put it on the, I'm going to see it on the shelf next to the vent right there. <laughs> put it over here. I'll get a, I'll get a can of spam to put in the bed. Yeah. Yeah. We go, we're going to do something crazy with it. We're going to do it. Cobra or, or, or I'll tell you what, we're going to do what I said we we're going to do. We're going to make it firefly. And uh, because I know you love Firefly, yes, sir. <laughs> Firefly and get scrap iron rod and shotgun or yeah, rockets out of the back or something crazy. Yeah, yeah. buddy, we're gonna do it up right, man. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna shoot at the idea stage of things when you see it all start. Can't wait to see how this goes. Oh, yeah, yeah I haven't even taken mine apart yet. Uh, one of the ones I got. <laughs> I haven't even <laughs> taken mine apart to start on it yet. I have an idea though. I'm I'm trying to find one one piece that I need for what I want to do with mine or attempt to do with mine because I don't I can't do that stuff you guys do, but I'm gonna try it. Um, sure you can. Sure you can. <laughs> you give it a shot. I, I'm winging it the whole damn time, anyways. I mean, I, there ain't no rule book, <laughs> right, bro? <laughs> we okay. just wing it. Just let the model tell you what to do. Yeah. right oh god yeah well thanks guys and i'm sure i'll see you in uh you know all the other streams and uh tuesday night you know we'll kick something up and uh you guys let me know if you want me to come on uh i know crow you have saturday and down south you know hit me up anytime buddy if you need me to hop on a stream i appreciate you guys helping me out tonight and uh we're gonna we're gonna check you later guys you can teach me how to invite others into my stream at some point, Aaron. But thanks very much, man. Yeah, I will. Thanks, man. Thank you fun. guys so much. Good night to everyone in the chat. I hope you had a good time. And uh, we'll check you later. <laughs>